We're, we're back here. Now, what the heck were we doing? Okay, so we, um... I think we, uh... Like we do. Um, we terraformed a planet. Yeah. We, we, we terraformed a planet. And then, um... I think I'm back on my ship? There was a little cutscene when I went back on the ship that, like, you guys didn't see because I don't know why I went back on the ship. It was just basically me attempting to be a stinking leader and people barely paying attention. Because, you know, who's gonna listen to me? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so now we're on the ship and I believe we can head back to the Nexus or I can go back onto Terra Firma and try to find some rocks. I think we're just gonna head back to the Nexus. Forget finding rocks. We'll find rocks eventually. Oh yeah, we have some weird phone game stuff that we can also do. Yeah, I'll also, also hold on. I think um, my positioning is a little... Is it off? Yeah, it's a little off, so let's see. Alright, this is, this is better. Okay! Find the work rosters, investigate med bay. Oh yeah! We found some more stuff on Terra Firma that wasn't just the rocks. Um, okay, we're, 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 we're gonna go back there, I guess. Why can't I jump? Okay, so, where... Where, where the heck am I? Oh yeah, we can talk to people. A secure outpost. Finally. If they fail, the Nexus starves. No pressure, right? So everything we do now relies on civilians planting vegetables. Where's Korra? Where's Drac? Why could I hear them? Where are they? Well, this is this door is closed, so there's gonna be a cutscene here. Report from the Nexus: Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said, I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. Why is everyone's eyes literally just darting everywhere but looking at the person they're talking to? That's not how people's faces work. It sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into Huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. 
Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Aww, it's a little cute. I still don't like Cora though. Okay, alright. We can just straight up talk to her. But... I don't want to. <laughs> I, I I just don't want to. Okay, we walked past Lexi, but we didn't talk to her. Hi, Lexi. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. I don't feel like talking to Lexi right now. She's all right, but I don't feel like talking to her right now. Um, where are the people I care about? AKA, where's Kahlo? <laughs> Alright, so our, our phone game people are back. It was a failure? What do you mean? <gasps> These stuff doesn't sound like sticking with a 60% chance to- Oh my gosh, you guys are monkey! Okay, fine. Alright, um. Uh, protect engineering personnel. You know what? Sure. Uh, there you go. Yankee, y y you're going in there. What does this mean? Fires in power. Protect engineering personnel. 70%. Oh, that's already happening. Okay. Um. There you go. Yes, my phone game is has been set. I don't know what I get from this. I guess I don't get jack from this if they fail. So that's um, that's good to know. Oh, so Cora was there. Lexi is here. Phoebe is in an escape pod because of course she is. Where are where 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 are the lads? Where's where are the lads? Bathroom automatically open. This is going to. And don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Quit worrying, Rushan. It'll be fine. Right. Have you settled in yet? Yeah, got all my stuff here. And your repair kit, spare parts. I carry that emergency kit you put together all the time. Good. Good. I'll check in with you later. Ah. I forgot, uh, like, don't you. give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Rushan. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Uh, I like the way you think, kid. Ugh, someone somewhere shivered when I said that. <laughs> Probably Tam, damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Leaving the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. It was, actually. Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. I like track. Jack is cool. Jack is very good grandpa. He will come with us, staying there all the time. I like Jack. Okay, he'll come with us on everything except for one mission. Because, yes. Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in Assistant Director. 
Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. Okay, sure. Why not? What's it like to have Kesh as a granddaughter? Kesh is my Rushan, child of my blood. Raised her myself. Damn proud of her, too. She did good, even with me for a granddad. She's honest. Definitely blunt. She had to take after me in some ways, I guess. Did Lexi brief you on Sam and squad connectivity yet? Yeah. You want to hook that thing up to my comm, sure, but that's where it stops. Putting an AI in your head, giving it access to everything like that, it's begging for trouble. Why do you say that? I've seen what bots can do when they turn on their creators. Been in some of those fights. There's a reason that kind of research was outlawed. Yeah, my peacekeeping career went up in smoke when news of what my dad was researching got out. No shit. Ruined the writer name, I'll bet. Almost. I'm not thrilled about it myself, but it is what it is. Just make sure it can't unshackle itself. There'll be hell to pay if that happens. That's a bit too late. Um, he's already kind of been unshackled. Uh, kind of comes with the, the program. I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. How did you and Vetra meet? Huh, that's right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they thawed you out. You could say that. You make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for cash right under my nose. I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, that Turian takes shit from no one. She really has a way of getting things done. She sure does. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Kesh's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Kesh all along. They're both still laughing at me over that. Huh? Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. Got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable, the works. Even some farming. Farming? Krogan farm? Food's food. Just because we can eat anything doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. I'm pretty fond of Corkro roots myself. Takes a while to chew through those. Uh -huh. So, about all this combat experience you have, I'd love some details. Ha! The list will be shorter if you ask me what experience I don't have. I've been doing this for a long time now. Centuries. Shit. Well over a thousand years. Don't even know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Skill? You need luck to be a merc. Skill, sure, but a whole lot of luck. And a really hard head. Why did the Krogan leave the Nexus? The Nexus got us Krogan to stop the mutiny. In return, we were supposed to get a say in station business. Spender, Addison's assistant, lied about the deal. And Tan came down hard. Too hard. So we left. Kesh is alone on that station now. You think someone might try to hurt Kesh? Ah, more like she airlocks Spender. Or he tries to stab her in the back, and then she airlocks him. Dan wouldn't listen to me when I told him Spender had a part in the mutiny. I had no proof. So what's my part in this? Things need to get sorted out, and my clan needs to get back on station, without Spender messing things up. The way I see it, you're probably the best one for that job. So what you're saying is... I'm everyone's stinking slave. Got it. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Anything about the cat? Or combat in general? Well, com and cat are pretty straightforward. Hit them hard enough, they die like anything else. Tell me more about fighting cat. Wraiths are sneaky little shits like to ghost up behind you when you least expect it. 
Just listen for them. They tend to give themselves away right before coming at you. Break through their head plates, then a headshot should do the trick. What the heck is a wraith? We can talk more later. Sure. Hey, one last thing. Yeah? Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, huh, when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. I mean, Jack is like a thousand or something. <laughs> well, okay, if we're not counting the 600 years, he was like, I think, 800 or something when he came onto the Nexus. So, your, your man, your man's ancient. <laughs> <laughs> Your man's actually ancient and he has the right to call people kids. Alright, so this is the crew's quarters. No one's there. That's the kitchen. Um. It's med bay. No one's in the med bay. We need to go find our friends. Oh. Okay, so, um, Liam's over there. We are not romancing Liam, so. Luckily, we don't accidentally romance people in this game. That's good. That's good. Messing with that vault feels like early brain surgery. Just poking and hoping. As long as it helps us to live here, I don't care how the vault's doing it. That's it, Mr. Clay. That's how. Mm. I prefer tech with more exposed bolts. If you can't open it, you don't own it. Oh, girls up there. Oh, hi, huh, girl. Hi, Liam. How goes the hunt? I, you're all right. Nice clipping. Padromos. Prodromos. Sounds good, doesn't it? We started Pathfinder. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. There's, the textures in this game are so... Meh. I'm interested. We don't, we're not very subtle, is we? We really ain't no subtle. You barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. All right. I was a bad student, piss poor cop, great responder. Had a good life, but it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. You were a cop, then crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did, but it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. An impatient rookie, frustrated by procedure. That's overdone. I know, right? I wanted new, and I got it. And that led me here. Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom, Joel, Dad, Calvin. Both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? Life with my family was not typical, on a number of fronts. You may do though, right? Family has to. I know mine did. I said goodbye to my mom and dad, and got on a ship to Andromeda. We'll talk later. I know it. That's very presumptuous of you now, isn't it, Liam? Okay, bye-bye. Hey, Vitra! I know her name Fletcher. Hey, Vitra! You were not looking at that one. Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, life-destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving, and everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone. Blah. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. Like you said, we had no idea what Helios was really like. What good's a plan? Adapting to problems as they come up. I like that. Good, since you're probably gonna have front row seats to me winging it. Looking forward to the show. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who, and what they're willing to take in exchange. That just sounds like you're taking advantage of people. Is it? I get people what they want, and they do want, or they wouldn't pay. <laughs> How did she hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. 
Eventually, I figured out something was going on. Something big, with creds behind it. I asked and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the Exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the Initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? The thing about conning people, you always know something they don't, and that's why the con works. And if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. True. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. I really don't have the time, <laughs> but whatever you say. Okay, now where is Giru? How do I get up here? Giru. Uh. Oh, cause it's like oh. Okay, let's go, Giru. This man likes technology. He's a uh, he a techie man. Hey, dude. Long time no chat. <laughs> What's up? I uh, hear we have you to thank for getting the Tempest space ready so quickly. Vetra brings her impossible feats to me. I was itching to get this particular call. Capital R, ready. Don't tell her, but the truth is, I fudge reports to come in early, then bust ass in secret to make up for him. Expands the Gil legend. Plus, I convey calm and assurance, and the whole team relaxes, which helps them do their jobs better. So what he's saying is basically he stinking lies to say that nonsense is great and then he like last minute does all that nonsense within like an hour and then everything is done. I mean, if he gets the job done and we're not crashing and burning in space to the space seaweed, I'm fine with it. What's your social circle like? Oh, I'm good for a laugh, so I know lots of people, but I don't let too many in. My one true friend is stationed on the Nexus. She's the only piece of the Milky Way I brought with me. The more you and I get to know each other, the more you'll probably hear about her. Seems like we have a good group here. Well, Vetra and Suvi are my girls. Get along well. Lots of mutual respect. PB's a real spark plug. I like her, but she's exhausting. And Drax's my kind of guy. Brash. Takes no shit. As far as your Hyperion peeps go, the Doc's kind of nosy. Liam's good for a laugh or two. Cora, she's a bit by the book for me. Need somebody to keep the zoo in check. Zoo? You you calling me an animal rider? Uh. Ooh, can I be a mongoose? They're like cool cobra killers. No, wait. How about a crow? Smart, irreverent, obnoxious. That's it. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> what about Kello? He's a pilot. Which means. He flies the ship. We're leaving it at that then. Does a Pathfinder know what to do with a dead end? <laughs> he doesn't like Kalo, and Kalo doesn't like him. For reasons that'll be obvious soon. How tough was it on the Nexus all those months? Have you ever eaten overcooked space cow tongue? Can't say I have. Well, let me tell you, it's tough. Wondering if you're gonna die from a critical malfunction, or maybe starvation? Imagining which would be worse, but hey, you could always take a break from the fear and boredom to dwell on being a part of the biggest failure in galactic history. Maybe even participate in a revolt. What was your take on that? I didn't place any bets, if that's what you're asking. Truth is, I don't think anyone made out particularly well. Whatever side you're on, you die a little when your brother, your teammate, becomes an enemy. We traveled all this way, all hope and wonder, and we end up fighting with each other over scraps. It's sad. It is. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. See, sometimes the conversations are pretty nice when they're not being cringe. It's cool. It's cute. And then... Whatever little big little spark of... What to say? Is she gonna bug? Is she gonna bug? <gasps> she didn't! And then whatever, like, you know, nice little spark you find... It just sometimes gets thrown out the window. What kind of running am I doing? Oh wait, this is my- oh no, this is not one. Where's my data pad? Oh, how'd you get under there? Uh, Suvi, were you talking to your notebook? Oh, I was, wasn't I? 
I do that sometimes. Ubi is stinking adorable. I love her. I also love Kalo. Kalo is great. I don't like PB. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice out of the way place where I can tinker and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Should I consider you a temporary addition? Everything's temporary, Ryder. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. You left everything and everyone you knew because you were bored? No. I came with someone I knew. Then she got bored with me. <laughs> Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown, for the never been done. That's just the one thing you want me to know about you. Let's start with that then. Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. <sighs> Tell you what, I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned, which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. Uh, PB, is your head okay? PB? You doing okay? I don't- I don't think she's fine, broskies. I don't- I don't think she's... Uh, we'll, we'll leave her to it. We'll leave her to it. Now, whatever Remtech we find, um, we are gonna give it to her because, uh, I like what she does with it. It's- it, it's cool. Alright, I think that's everybody. Alright, so, Thubi! Hi, girl! Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because... Science brings me closer to something greater than myself. This is rude. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. We have we have a look in our eyes saying like yeah I want you and I'm just like yeah no I wasn't questioning your abilities you never have to justify yourself to me thank you I appreciate you saying that truly now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports we'll talk later I like Ubi Ubi is cool she's she's cool she's cute I like her. And Kalo, he's my boy. Kalo is my boy. Kalo is my boy. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? No. Oh, fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. What can I do for you? If you helped to build the Tempest, you must know plenty about her. Just about everything. By memory, it was quite the effort to get her working. The initiative needed absolutely up-to-date technology, which we all had to coordinate, and some of it was rather tricky to acquire. 
acquire? By legally and above board, of course. <clears throat> yes. Sadly, the other Pathfinder vessels were lost when the Scourge hit the Nexus. The Tempest is truly unique. I couldn't help overhearing you and Gil. Sounded pretty heated. He likes redesigning things, but the ship was built this way for a reason. I wish Gil would respect that. It's nothing to concern yourself about, really. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Well, I can't talk about Suvi. She's sitting right there. I'm not listening. You can say whatever you like. <laughs> oh no. I'm not falling for that again. What do you think of the rest of the crew? I'll admit it. Gil's rather irritating. He insists on redesigning systems rather than maintaining them. He likes to do things his way. Hmm, that doesn't make it the right way. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Liam's quite fun. Not many humans have that kind of energy. I probably shouldn't have told him there are secret compartments in the armory, though. He's been looking all day. I love Kalo, he's so cute. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Dr. Tapero seems nice, if quiet. It must be very different here, compared to the Hyperion. Fewer people in stasis shock. Let's keep it that way. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Given Drax's history with Salarians, it's probably better I just stay out of his way. Too bad. That grunion roast he makes smells delicious. What do you think of the rest of the crew? I like PB. But I really hope she doesn't lean on the escape pod's manual release by accident. Is that easy to do? It's an escape pod. If it's difficult to use, you're doing it wrong. You know what? He has a point. He does have a point. I've never thought about it that way. <laughs> what do you think of the rest of the crew? Vetra's very kind. She actually got hold of some dried seaweed snacks for me. Said I needed feeding up. Because <laughs> you're skinny as heck, my day. What do you think of the rest of the crew? I don't talk to Cora much. She always seems so busy. There are things I'd like to ask her about your father, but it never seems like a good time. Um, is that everybody? I think that's about everybody, yeah. You know, I haven't actually met many Solarians. Careful. Depending who you ask, we're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. We have to pack a lot of living into 40-odd years. Everything gets accelerated. Lines blur. I just hope we don't repeat our old mistakes out here. Tell me something else about the ship. Her engine's based on the Ark's Odyssey Drive, which got us through dark space. The core takes the static electricity it generates and stores it in capacitors. We basically make our own power supply. It took Serena and Tion weeks to get it working on a smaller ship. And a few electrical shocks. Huh. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Yes, I do. You and Thubi are probably the only people that I can consistently rely on being in a certain area. Oh gosh, we have mail. Um, families lost in information during praying finding their loved ones. Okay, cool. Uh, Dr. Adriana. May information we just this person on the Nexus. Oh yeah, we we found we found her dead crew in space. Ah, oh, so now she wants us to do something else. Got it. But all the reports about the remnant vault sounds dangerous. Being lucky enough, okay. Pass the warning to Bradley. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Tempest hacks. Oh, sticking Callow's giving me Tempest hacks so I can have longer showers. Mm hmm. <laughs> I love Gallo. Spirituality. Okay, basically, it's just how she believes in the divine. But my dad. Betra told me what happened to your dad. I've lost a lot of people over the years. Figured you could use some cheering up or at least a distraction. This usually helped me. Drac has attached 37 images of various rifles and shotguns. Two are duplicate images. Many are low res or more unmarked. This man, like, went on this digging eye funny and just got sticking pictures of, like, guns and sent it to us because he's, like, he's really, he really is just a sticking old man. <laughs> Yoga poses. 
So basically, she's just sending us yoga to, you know, help us unwind. I mean, it's cool. And she wants me to... <laughs> she wants me to go find her some stuff. Got it, got it. Okay! The firefighters. Wait, what? Alright, well, um, let's see. Before we head anywhere, I think we're gonna be heading back to the planet. But before that, let's see what the heck we're even doing. So yeah, we need to go back to EOS and see people who ran away or something. We can't do this yet. The first murderer, these are both on the Nexus. It's, it's easy enough to do. Yes. Um. Basically, that's his stinking special thingy. You know how, like, in Mass Effect 2, you had those, um... Mm, <sighs> loyalty missions. Yeah, you had, you had the stinking loyalty missions. Basically, these are loyalty missions, but... Yeah, I don't think... I don't even know if they unlock anything. <laughs> I just know the loyalty missions. This is... Who knows when this is gonna happen. This is... I gotta, I guess, look around properly. Um, let's see... Additional talks. Offer to alien. Okay. Scan wildlife. All right. Look at the researchers. Other. See, these are like stinking mini thingies that like will happen. I guess as I just exist throughout the game. Or, I I hope. I don't know. The family of Darkit. Tyrion, a Tyrion still in cryo are asking that she be allowed to join them instead of waiting for a future cryo block develop deployment. Podromos is getting the experts it needs. The morale contributes as much. So basically they want me to go and say, hey, can this person wake up? Alright. Then you go hit some rocks, data cores. I'm not too sure where we get these said data cores from. But uh I think, no, I think we get these from terraforming and scanning the colonists' bodies. I don't, I think we're missing like two. So we're going to go and try and figure out if we can find those guys. And that's completed. I don't know why. Okay. Why can't I, can I mark these as like all is red or something? No, I can't. Okay. This is the codex where you can like just look and see and read and lore that you can use or you can ignore for your fan fiction. Wait, I got more assault rifles. Oh wait, no, I got the ghost. The ghost is what I'm using. Why is it? Um. No. It's okay. The heck is this? When did I get this? Uh, I guess it dropped from the stinking cat. That's a pretty high rate of fire, and it has more damage. But my uh, the ammo capacity has got nothing on the ghost. Um. You know, I should try it. It looks ugly as all heck, but I should try it. All right, we got, we got, we got, we got. We got nothing else new here, yeah? No, we got nothing else new here. Got new legs, apparently. Cat armor, ew. Ew, ew, ew. What the heck is a fusion mod? This barely understood remnant tech can be integrated into the chest plate. Oh, it gives you more shields? monkeys your health no <laughs> and, and these are consumables they, they, they do things they do things <laughs> they, they do stuff um oh I got I got research and stuff you know I really should look up what the heck is like just like the most broken nonsenses to use because heaven knows that like you know, I say that, but then what I'm gonna do, I'm just actually just gonna look at to see what stinking armor looks pretty. And then I'm just gonna upgrade it to max and hope that it protects me. That's literally what I'm- Ooh. We can pimp out our car. What the heck is beryllium? Improved four-wheel drive. Dude. We can pimp out our car. Can we make our car look pretty? Oh wait, no, we have to buy the paint. All right, next time we go to Nexus, I need to go and see if we can find the paint. Resources. Oh, this is just... Mark all as seen. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. 
Um, let's see, did I level up? I did not. But these guys, uh, wait, what, what's... I don't, I don't, I, there's, there's nothing here. Oh! Auto level up, yes. Can I just like auto level up everybody? Well, it doesn't matter. We have we have a lot of people that we just we just put all the level ups in there because I could not care less what any of these people do because I will not be paying attention to them at all. I could have sworn I had these guys on auto level up apparently. Then. I'm wondering is what's new on here? There's nothing new, but it's still saying there's some new stuff. Ugh, whatever. Okay, whatever. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go back to Eos because we have a couple things that are actually tangible that we can do. This is Eos, right? Landing zone. Let's go. Okay. Okay. All right. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and uh. Do. Oh! This I, want, screen. I wanted to take Drac. Coordinating. Yeah. Path is calm. I, I forgot that that's how you choose your people. Okay, well, now we know. Now we know. Because I have what? I have Vitra and Liam. Ike, you want to take, like, Drac and, uh,. I kind of want to take Drac and Peavy, just because it seems like they'd have some funny banter together. Yeah. I don't, I don't want Liam on my team right now. Or ever again. Yeah, this time. The Tempest looks grand. Oh. Now a little, uh, a little, a little rant. I was about to say, like, wait, what, what happened? Um, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Will they allow me? Okay, so wait, hold on. I don't even... How long does it take for the stinking minerals to respawn? Are you telling me the minerals don't respawn? Okay, hold on. There was a... There's a stinking forward station. The forward station... Over... They lying to me. Wait, there's a there should be a forest station. Oh, there. I I don't even know. Can we switch people here? We switch Santa. Yeah, boy. Okay, forget you. Unknown. I wonder who that last person will be. Uh, I know who it is. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take we're gonna take our boy Drac. And I like you, Vitra, but I've never had PB just stinking walk around with me. So we're gonna have these two dum dums walk around with me, and hopefully they say something funny. If PB and him don't have funny stuff to say, then I'm I'm switching out PB because I don't like her like that. <laughs> Now, when we get that last person, then we're, then we're gonna be able to have our actual stinking put out. But anyway, so I'll learn something. How do I, how do I even drive? Okay, I'll learn something new yesterday. So y'all know how I played stinking Detroit Become Human, right? Are those guns? Do I have a shop yet? Wait a minute, are these guns? Why George Day is okay. All right, so you know how I played Detroit Become Human, right? So, uh, I learned some things about. Still think you'd be better off with soldiers at your outpost. Of course, of course. All right, before, Wait, hold on. How are we? Where am I even going? I don't really even know what I'm doing. I think we're trying to find the Wallsters or something. Hmm. Anyway, so, uh. You know Connor, right? He's the RK800. 
the, this experimental robot that's, you know, made to find deviants and uh, make them not be deviants anymore because we have enough degeneracy in, in this stinking world as it is. Okay, what am I, what am I supposed to be... this? This definitely treated wounds caused by a remnant. That data pad said the work crew tried to control them. Sand particles were removed from the wound. Analyzing. The sand may be from several locations. I need more data to form a conclusion. Okay. This is... some stuff about people getting hurt and whatnot. Oh, okay. So, what's it called? Um, Connor is the RK-800. Where's my car? Okay. Connor's RK-800. Apparently, there is another, like, next-gen Connor called the RK-900 that you stinking get when, like, you go full robot. Basically, you don't go deviant. You go full robot, and uh, you complete your mission. You kill Marcus, you stop all the deviants, all that stuff. And then stinking Amanda's like, Hey, yo, you did a great job. Good job. But now we're going to deactivate you because this guy's better than you. Thanks for all your help. Please go die. So... I was on Tumblr. That's where the change in colors. Hello. Who the heck are you? Water repair system. Kane Fox. Lorelai Smith. Matthew Kinnison. Alex Jennings. Sale Barracks. Jamie Kasperic. Work rosters. That data pad mentioned the name Jennings. Here, Axel Jennings, a scientist set up weather monitoring devices all over the desert. Only one location matches the sound from the medical equipment, a monolith. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna go to the monolith uh, to do some things. Why? Hmm. Hi, so you survived? You haven't got a fuel cell, have you? The quartermaster says there's plenty, but she would. Wait. Oh, shit, you're the Pathfinder. Sorry, no one said VIPs were coming by. I'm just Ryder. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Uh, I'm Fox, chief engineer at your service. What are the other outpost staff like? Like Connor, you mean? She's pretty fun when you get to know her. Just don't get to know her over a poker game. Trust me. Okay, do I care about this man? No, I do not! Bye, Fox. Bye. Stay safe out there. Thanks. You should wash your hair. It looks a little dirty. Alright, so we're going to a monolith. We're going to a stinking monolith. Anyway, so... The Connor we play as is an RK-800. The Connor that takes over once you finish the game. It's literally like in that mid-stinking cutscene nonsense you get once you finish the game right before it goes on to the main credits. Uh... So that Connor is an arcade 900, and then the Connor we played at gets stinking dis disabled because, uh, yes, reasons. So I was on I was on Tumblr. One of the few times I'm on Tumblr because I I actually go on to Tumblr because there's some good art there. Now we all know that they banned. Uh, we all know that Pathfinder. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. I am, I, 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 I know. I know. Get me up the... Okay, where are the... They say this nonsense is rich. I see... Rich in what? Rich in what? I mean... I guess... There you go. Okay, I actually don't know where I'm going right now. <laughs> uh, also... Wait, what? Oh, that's where we're going. Oh. There's a monolith over there. Okay, well, you know where else we're going? Can we, uh... No, we can't teleport there. We can teleport here. Can we teleport here? No. Um... I want to do this. At least get some of it done. 
apparently there's like different floors a cat base of course there's a sinking cat base somewhere around here what the heck is this memory trigger oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy okay how am i how we're gonna go explore eating all around here you know we're gonna try what a try. Might as well. Might as stinking well. Alright, so in order to get here, we just got to go through. So we turn to the right. Ah, gosh, it's right. Anyway, so I was on Tumblr and I was, and I randomly saw a picture of Connor that was actually pretty cool looking. It was, it was actually pretty cool looking. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, this is fine. Oh, wait, I can look up Connor art. Why not? Totally not creepy, totally not weird, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm just a, I'm just a big fan. So, I stinking looked up um, RK800 because I guess that's the stinking hashtag for Connor. Because heaven forbid, I don't know. Heaven forbid, I don't know how many um, stinking fandoms have like a Connor in them or not, and I was not trying to stinking figure it out. So I searched up RK800, and I got the basic fare. You know, I got some nice Connor pictures. It's pretty good. Nice. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. And then, you know, I also got like, you know, the stuff I didn't feel like seeing, like, you know, ships that are unfortunately no sign of that work crew, but someone left their gear behind. That are unfortunately obvious, but I try to pretend that they're not. You know, it helps me sleep better at night. Wait, you want me to scan something here? Wait, I've got an open comm channel. Easy money. Once the electrical charge builds up, we'll have ourselves some nice obedient remnant. You better be sure this time, Jennings. If you're that spooked, go hide behind the four giants. I'm busy. Damn it. We've got to find them before they get themselves killed. Oh, wait, what? There's a time limit? Yo, where's my car? Yo, where's my car? All right, so we got two... Oh, what the heck is this? What in the world is this? Yo, what do you mean save the crew? Dude! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is not gonna work. Yo, I did not sign up to Sticky go on a high speed chase trying to save. Can I can I fast travel? Where where is it? Boy! Why are they all the way over there? Dude! That's some monk! That is actually some monk! Oh boy, okay, hold on. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. Dude, 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 why? Why is this a thing? Why is this a thing? Nice world. You know, with a little help from massive tech. Hopefully Padroma sets a high bar. Columnists change things, not always for the better. Dude, what do you mean? I, I did not accept this quest and sticking start going sticking Grand Theft Auto on this. Dude, it's so far away. So hello, Connor. How goes that? This this is so far away. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Got a minute. Help us, please. You know what? That doesn't sound very you know thingy. All right, come on, boys. Wait. Oh, so, you're, okay, you're friendly. Ah. Eat. Wait, I just that, that's, that's not the kind of eat I wanted. Eat. Oh gosh, they hurt! <laughs> oh gosh, they hurt! They hurt a lot! Get out of my way! <laughs> Imagine if there was friendly fire in this game. No, 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 don't, don't, don't kill them! They were just trying to make money! Not that that's, you know, ever a good idea. Oh gosh, this dude. You know, I have fire ammo. Hello! Goodbye! Alright! All right. Okay. You guys aren't dead. Wait, where are you? All right. Um. One of them is dead. Unfortunately, wait, not dead. Are there still? St okay, I'm trying to talk to you guys, but like, who am I supposed to talk to you? Ah. OK, 
Okay, there we go. Hi, hi. Stop moving! Oh my gosh, you stinking monkey, stop moving! Wait, what? Or am I not supposed to talk to you? Oh, please don't tell me this is bugged. This nonsense is bugged, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Hello? Great timing. Thanks for the assist. Your experiment with the remnant didn't work out? Huh. Okay, who squealed? Gasparic? Yeah, I bet. These remnant could plow our fields, protect us from the cat. You control them, why shouldn't we? Wait, what? Since when do I stinking control remnant? When did this happen? I okay, these people these people are talking about the future. That I obviously know nothing about. How many people need to get hurt before you stop this? Pathfinder's got a point, Jennings. <sighs> Fine. But you can't protect us all the time, Pathfinder. Out here, we need every edge we can get. I mean... This... Was... This was actually sticking monkey quest. See, I'm over here thinking like, oh my goodness gracious, dude. Oh my goodness gracious. We're, they're gonna die. It's gonna be messed up. And then... We just have some monkey people doing monkey things, and I, I actually cannot be bothered like at all, really. This guy's a stinking dum dum. Anyway, as I repeat for like the forty eighth time, so I was on sticking Tumblr, and I found some pictures of Connor. I wasn't looking for Connor. All the dead. Look at all the dead bodies. <laughs> None of these count for my stinking thingy mission, right? They're just dead bodies from these guys being stupid. Yes, they are. So, I was on Tumblr and um, I found some Connor pictures. So I searched up RK800 so I could find some more Connor pictures. And then I saw RK900. Mind you, I had no idea what the heck RK900 was for a bit. I didn't click on it because I was like, okay, I don't. Is this a new character? I don't Detecting know. Detecting above normal radiation levels. So. I just kept looking through and then I found things that, you know, it's kind of par for the course, like, you know, ships that I don't care for. Wait, this is a lot of radiation. Hold on. Okay, this is like a buttload of radiation. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Life support levels are critically low. All right, you know what? Fine, whatever you say. Okay, this is not worth it. How? How do I? How am I able to go in here without dying? I guess I'll have to upgrade my thing or something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, hold on. There's some more rocks over there. How do we get over here? There's a memory thing. But how do we get over there? Do we like drive from here? You know, we're going on a stinking adventure. We're gonna go on a stinking adventure. I don't know how, but we're gonna go on an adventure. So anyway, so when I was looking through the hashtag of RK800, I found RK900. It was, I, I didn't click on it. I was just wondering what the heck is RK900? And then I saw, a sticking hashtag called RK1700. Now, mind you, when I was looking through the Connor pictures, I saw the usual of Connor looking like Connor. It was cool, whatever. Stinking, you know, interesting pictures of Connor. Yes, like that. And then also, I saw ships of, you know, Connor with himself because people are within acceptable limits. monkeys. And also Connor with Hank because of course they would. Why wouldn't they? Of course they would. And then I also saw Connor with that one stinking what's it called um I also saw Connor with that with that one detective who was just an actual butthead. <laughs> and I'm just like, the heck is this? Pathfinder. Nothing this here. area can be mined for resources. So when I clicked you on RK1700, I was like, is this a new robot this. that I've never seen before? That's a really big number. And then when I click RK1700, all I see are 
stinking pictures of Connor with Connor. And that's... Wait, I'm not dead. am I even going the right way? No. No, I am not. Uh... Hmm. I mean, technically... No. Actually, no, technically we could go that way, but that seems like it's a long way. We want to go... Down. How about... We, we have this as our little target for now. And then... Turn it around afterward. Um... So yeah, RK-1700 is literally just a ship of Connor with the stinking new Connor. And I learned I learned that after I went onto the wiki to figure out what the heck was RK- This is just a- this is a cave or not a cave? Oh, I can do it. When I figured out what the heck RK-900 was. I swear, man. The internet is great to figure planet out- Planet after planet wears tech down in different ways. I usually end up walking. We're outfitted best we can be. Bumpy ride getting this far. I doubt any of our vehicles were tested this hard. I had to stick and go onto the wiki to figure out what the heck RK900 was. And RK1700 is literally just 900 plus 800 together. It's, it's, it's so stupid. See, when I told Fluffy about it, when I was thinking told Fluffy about it, right, he was just like, oh, is this, is this the, both the numbers added together? And for the life of me, I, I could not... Hold on. Oh wait, no. Okay, uh. But hold on, I'm dying. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. Okay, well we're dying. All right, so apparently, literally leaving anywhere around here is just gonna kill us. So I guess we're done. Question mark. What the heck is this? Research station. Uh, guess we could go to the research station and see if it's there. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, fine, 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 fine. I didn't want to go exploring on a planet or anything. I didn't. I didn't want to pretend that I actually enjoyed open world games. Whatever you say, game. Force it. Me. Yeah. The brave and dead. Old Krogan saying. Hard lessons we can't forget. Really don't like coming back here. Yeah, well, this is what you signed up for, and you don't have to deal with it. I'm still missing a couple of dead bodies. I don't know where they could be. I'm gonna look around real quick again. Also, let's see. So we can't do none of that yet because that's just that's just just death, apparently. Better be getting Victor Tan, give her radiation time to clear. Oh! The radiation is probably gonna go away after I leave. Of course, of course, of course it is. Why wouldn't it? Oh my god. You can get started on like Drax stuff. Okay, let me see. Rem Name the dead. I don't know where we could find these. We'll probably find more as I'm just walking around. I doubt this would leave and do anything besides just give me EXP. Cause yeah. Sand minerals. Talk to people, talk to people. I don't have <sighs> I guess I don't have anything else really to do besides just go back to the Nexus. So I guess we're just gonna go back to the Nexus. I walk into that water. Oh. oh! Wow! Look at that! The water doesn't hurt. Woo. Now I know on one planet the water is stinking, burns you to death. So we're just not gonna do that. So um, can I just dip out? I think if we go into the car. We can just leave. Hey. Alright, now we're going back to the Citadel, yeah, not the Citadel. All clear. <laughs> I saw a random like um news article about what's it called? The top ships on AO3, aka Archive 
archive of our own, aka the better fanfiction. Welcome back. Thank you, Phoebe. Um, and the top ships were basically based on like how many stinking fanfictions what those ships are, are like you know listed on the website. And uh, the the headline was basically the top ships on AO3 show that like humanity is trash. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, you're right. Because obviously one of the top ships stinking Elsa X Anna because people people are actually monkeys. <laughs> okay, I think I've went to everywhere. There's nowhere that we haven't looked at. Yeah, everything is 100%. Could build the fish. Um, so now we're gonna go back to the Nexus. There are some stuff we can get started on. We're probably gonna find like eight more stinking quests that I'm probably just not gonna do because I don't have the stinking patience for it. And um, uh, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, familiar territory. The Nexus has been here for months. Still not enough time to survey it all. All right. Okay, so we got to go talk to Stinking Tan and pretend we care about him. We need to go give Addison the stink eye like twice. We need to go find Addison's stinking quote unquote, um... Uh... Look at all those nonsense. The first mo- Oh yeah! We need to go give our final stinking verdict on the guy who was thought to murder somebody, but he didn't murder someone, but he wanted to. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, let's go get that then. Also, we need to go say hi to Kenjos. I miss him. It's still an actual crime that we can't romance him. I, I, I'm looking at you, Bioware. Mad. You know what I never understood? Like, the actual skill and, like, creativity that comes with, like, being the sound artist for, like, games and stuff, or even, like, you know, just anything, because most of the time, most of the time, the- the-, the Pathfinder, oh. is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Oh, so ugly. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne. Certainly. The initiative's finally back on track. Professor Herrick, right? What, what you achieved that? with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. August Bradley will oversee that. He's the new mayor. Bradley? I know him. Seems like a good man. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. Um, I didn't expect the welcome parade, but I'll take it. Mm, okay. So, I'm guessing people are happy that we have an outpost. They're gonna start... Who are you trying to? Wait, Nanda, who are you? But we need this equipment. Well, you're not getting it. Stop making frivolous requests. It's not. Your incompetence isn't my problem. Just do your job. What do you want? Sounds like you're having a rough day. You saw that, huh? Oh, I'm sorry I snapped at you. The way Spender treats me? Everyone, I'm just... so angry. I don't understand how he's in any position of authority. I haven't heard much good about that guy. Whatever you've heard, it's not half as bad as the reality. Just last week, he tried to redirect some of the supplies we need to keep the stasis pods going. Why? I have no idea. But if Kesh hadn't stepped in and threatened to airlock him, it would have been a disaster. He's always like that. Making bad decisions, driving the Krogan away, treating people like scum when no one's watching. So what you're saying is he's garbage. Maybe there's something I can do. A man like that's bound to have some dirt. 
I wish Tan and Addison could see it. Things have gotten so bad that Kesh had to literally kick him out of engineering. How literal are we talking here? Boot to ass. Oh, it was glorious. We need him gone, but as incompetent as Spender is at his job, he's insanely good at keeping it. Kesh can tell you more. <sighs> now we gotta go talk to Kesh about Spender. Wee! All right, now here's the thing. There was an uprising that was happening around here when I last played, and I never stinking did anything about it because I could not care less. It does not seem like there is an uprising. Yet. Okay, see, now here, 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 let's let's look at this. You see your, your, your boy over here. He's literally a carbon copy of your girl that we just talked to. And we don't. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that that's terribly bad. It's just... <laughs> we just talked to her. Vortex is the club. Vortex is the club. Uh, we'll go clubbing. Oh, wait, there's a stinking quest in there. Of course there is. All right, I guess we'll go get the quest. This is a pretty monkey club, actually. Actually, a pretty monkey club. I is that supposed to be that? I get that. I. You know, y'all have fun. <laughs> what do you want? That's for Drobos. Oh, hi, Liam. We'll see it. <laughs> I mean, let, 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 let the girls dance. They can, they can, they can, they can do what they want. This man. Those, 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 those peeps over there. Somebody come get them. Okay, hey, Liam, what you doing? Things are shaping up, Pathfinder. Resources flowing in. Sleep is ready to head out. It's starting to feel like the initiative. Not quite up to the sales pitch, but getting there. It feels good, right? I feel it, Liam. Finally getting our start. There we go. Getting our shit together. Showing the new galaxy that we have it sorted. If I keep saying it, it's true, right? Sure. Let's go with that. Okay, now what the heck do you want? Wait, hold on. Hello. Oh, another one. Damn it. This is supposed to be the chemistry lab. My chemistry lab. You all keep crawling out of the woodwork like space cockroaches. You say that, Dutch, but here you are, pouring people drinks. Uh, hi. I'm standing right here. They're guinea pigs, damn it. Chemists should have guinea pigs. Not have their labs taken over by people giving them things and, and being nice. Um, nanny? Bad people giving you free things and helping you set up. So inconsiderate. Right? They keep bringing things. Tables and chairs and this bar and lights. Wait, you're making fun of me, aren't you? Don't let Dutch put you off. He's a sweetie, really. I'm not. And the drinks are good. Damn right they are. Uh, I mean, <sighs> yeah, I'm a dirty squirrel. 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 Thanks for the drink, I, I guess. Anyway, uh, Miss Tamari, do you have anything to say that's consistent? Hey, I was wondering if you could help me out. It's for the good of the bar. Lay it on me. So, folks try and help and all, but we have a limited pool of ingredients. Keep an eye out for anything interesting we could use for new drinks, and we'll let you test them for free. So, Dutch gets ingredients and the guinea pig he wanted, huh? Exactly. Win-win all around. Search for supplies in the Hyperion Atrium. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go and search for supplies while 
people do as they do here. That's that's fine. Okay, this this Turian, this Turian is looking at one thing and one thing only. What are you doing? You know what? Fine. You know I'm not I'm not gonna get into it. Y'all can have fun. <laughs> they can have fun. I'm 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 Gucci with that. Okay. Um, additional tasks. Get a crafting search for supplies in this year. Okay, where's the... I need to go to the Hyperion Atrium and find some, uh, some, 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 some stinking stuff for this person because it is of the highest priority. Okay, so you are an arms merchant. I need to keep some on reserve for engineering repairs, but this I can is have a another batch armor. for sure. That the sticky power of teleportation, dude. Weapons and stuff. I got you covered. Use the console to take a look through what I got. It'd be a lot easier if I weren't missing half my stock. You got it. Shop till you drop. Here I come. That's fine. Hey, wait. Please don't drop anything you bought from me, okay? Tam would have my head if anything happened to you on my account. <laughs> what the heck is this? Is this, this is a shotgun. The stinking rifle. Do I like the falcon? These are some monkey nonsense. Mm. I wouldn't mind trying the falcon. The stinking assault rifle has like no clip size. Whatever, let's sell all the salvage. Oh. I have no salvage. Great. All right, so let's see. What can I sell here that I'm not going to be using? I'm not going to be using no shotgun. Uh, yeah, I'll hold on to this, I guess. This is an assault rifle. I'm not... I don't think I'm going to use that. Mm. So we got crafted. We got rare. And not... This. We, 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 we save all of this. The Predator. I'm using the Conifax. Um. 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 I don't need these. There's lots of things that I just straight up don't need, but I can't be bothered. So you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna do this. Yeah. Now there should be a place for me to be able to find stuff for my car. Vehicular merchant and general merchant. All right, let's see. What's in that? These are some modules that I. Oh, these are like augmentations. Uh... Is this like the stuff I can wear? Huh? Yeah, it just is. They have a lot of mods here. Oh, and they have dumb stuff we don't need. All right, cool. Yeah, we have to buy the stupid stuff because, you know, as I said, we don't stinky need it. So obviously, it's very, very, very important to buy. These are... That's interesting. I don't know what that is. Give me my model ships. And you are for my car. Yo, can we get some paint? Supplemental life support. Upgrades, life support systems. You know what? Yes. And seven paint. Neb nebula paint? Platinum paint. This is blue. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so... Hmm. 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 Are we just gonna get all of it? No, we're not gonna get all of it because we'll be stinking broke. Um. Uh. Sure. This is totally worth the money. Yes. I don't know how to change how my stinking car looks, but hey, yo, we had the option. All right, so let's go find something on the thing. I'm gonna go to habitation deck. Not too sure where that is. Founder was killed when the Nexus hit the Scourge. An 
official tribute is planned, though director Jaron Tan has provided few details so far. With our gene, we wouldn't be here. But now that we are here, we need to focus on surviving before we can celebrate. This is HNS. Oh, we have our own stinking, what's it called, news station now. Um. Okay, so we can find ingredients here. Like over here? Wait. Oh! Hi? You, Pathfinder. I have a word or two for you. Um. Is there a problem? Your father is my problem. He's everyone's problem. And he's dead. We're all paying for Alec Ryder's ego. He preyed on Jean Garson's trusting nature and bulldozed us to this godforsaken place. Now she's dead and will all soon follow. I mean... Who are you? Hey, my dad died for this dream. He was trying to fix things for all of us. Some dream. He fixed us all right. Go to hell, Pathfinder. Um... Good day to you too, lady. I, I, I guess. Holy, well, who legit peed in her Cheerios? So we got Milky Way hops. Really? That, that's it? That's all we needed to do? Okay. Okay, so we were also needed to go and touch the atrium. This is the Hyperion, right? This is not on the Nexus. No, this is this is the stinking Hyperion. Um, it seems that Captain Dunn has figured out a way. Wait, Nandi? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, okay, I'm not stupid. It feels like Captain Dunn has figured out a way to ascend reality. I, 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 I hope that she can teach me how to do this. Seems cool. Yeah, um, Captain Dunn. You okay? <laughs> Oh boy, what is this game? Okay, so let's see, what are my other things? So we can go back to the vortex. Fine, 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 fine. Nothing else done. Uh Helios. Oh yeah. We can go and yeah, okay, I know that. And the priority ops. We need to go talk to this cash about Spender. Which I believe she's in the same place as where everybody else is. So Let's go back to the Nexus. Actually, no, let's, let's, let's give these guys their stinking hops first, and then we'll go back to the Nexus. You need to stinking chill the heck out, like, hello. Oh, okay, wait. Am I gonna have more people just saying, hey, go die? Like, okay, if, if it's this that easy, why don't you go and stinking, you know, Pathfind and terraform and try to make sure people don't die. Why don't you go and do that if it's so easy? Or you know, if you think we're gonna die anyway, what's stopping you from going out into the space seaweed? I'm not gonna stop you. I, I pretend to stop you, but I'm not gonna stop you actually. Space seaweed's out there. You know, you have at it. All right, all right. What kind of running is this? <laughs> I thought the running is thinking Mass Effect 1 was that. Alright, this is just the game telling me we're loading in. Okay. Wow, where did you find those? Never Stop. mind, don't answer that. I think they're straight from the Milky Way. Yeah. Wait, is that it? Okay, most of these quests are stinking monk. Okay, legit. Unless they're actual priority quests or like quests for like your friends, they give you like, hey, here's a pat on the back. Thank you. It's 
It's so stupid. I don't even get no money. I don't get no money. I don't get like a stinking teddy bear. Just get, get like 50 EXP. Wow. It's amazing, dude. Okay, whatever. Where, where the heck is, um... It's like, like that. is that not done? All right, well, where is, uh, where is, where is? Let's go determine whether or not this man is going to go to jail or not. I mean, it's pretty obvious what the heck I'm going to stick in here, but yeah. All right, so this man got put in jail and is believed to be the first murderer. Nobody cares. So this man was believed to be the first murderer on Andromeda. Um, but we have figured out that he was not the one who killed this man. It was a cat. Is this plus 50 EXP not going to get off of my stinking screen? It's not. It's stinking not. Who are you trying to shoot, my dude? Okay. Nice to see you're still bugging. Hey, Rensis. I hear you went down to Eos. Did you find anything to help my case? You're a liar. The Chief's Omni-Tool recorded you over the body, admitting to killing him. What? Wait, that's not... What are you trying to pull? Sam, playback. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Well, shit. Guess my fate is sealed. Except that your shot missed. A cat blast to the back killed Reynolds. Are you... Are you serious? I'm innocent? What a stroke of luck. The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, this guy is actually monk. I'm going to tan, and I might have a different opinion. You did try to cover it all up. Look, I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent, plain and simple. We'll see about that. See, now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. People have gone to jail for, for a decent amount of time for conspiring to kill people. So he could be exiled for conspiring to kill somebody because he lied about it. Now, if he didn't lie about it, maybe I'd feel a little bit more thingy, but knowing me, I'm way too nice for my own stinking good, so. We'll see what happens. Um, Nande, uh, hmm. This footage is incredible. Who the heck are you? Pathfinder, wow. I'm Davis Carr, Helios News Service. Maybe you've heard my voice over the vids. I'm trying to file a story right now, but hey. HNS, huh? Where are the rest of you? I had an editor, but it's crazy out here. Now, beyond a freelancer or two, I'm it. All that stands between freedom and tyranny, or something. I haven't had much sleep. Who pays for you to do this? Technically, HNS is an arm of the initiative, but we serve the public, not them. Sometimes the higher ups try and tell us what to broadcast, Tan especially, but we decide what to run and how to run it. It causes friction, but at least I can live with myself. I met another journalist, Carrie Tavessa. Yeah, we're running Carrie's series, Path of a Hero. Good stuff. I'm mostly on my own, so pretty much anyone who brings me news is welcome. Content is king, and her content is really touching a nerve. Talk to you later, Davis. Hey, Ryder, before you go, I hate to ask, but it seems like your job takes you all over, the places we can't broadcast yet. If I send receivers to your ship, would you mind placing them on some planets? It'll help get news out to even the most far-flung colonists. What do you need from me, exactly? I'm digging up 
good stories here, but not a lot of people beyond the Nexus can hear them. Our long-distance transmitter sends package data between ships and even planet side, provided there's a receiver on the other end. I need someone to place receivers and boost our signal. We only have a few, so they need to go on planets with people. Okay, Davis. I'll help you get set up. Great. Just place a receiver near an outpost, and they'll get our reports. Wow. Alright, so we'll place an out a thingy on... This plus 50 is still on my screen. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. Secure message from intelligence. Operation Ingrid still in progress. Order as a sweep. Not everything has to come through me. The patrol trained under Kelly. They're nervous without authorization from the top. Push back. Slow Weekly Kelly's injury report. So is Multiple casualties under heavy engagement. There's I there's lots of things happening here. Hello, Lieutenant Sajax. Hey, Ryder, I'd like a moment. Yes? Lieutenant Syax, right? Oh, Syax. That's me. I'm putting together Apex strike teams to protect the people and assets you're setting up out there. We don't have a good sense of what we're up against and could benefit from your experience. There's no replacement for first-hand experience. I agree, but your insights on the assholes out there would really help. You'll see. Apex will make a difference. Gather intel on enemies. I don't Apex know what that means, but okay. Hey, Candles, you got anything to say to me? No, probably not. No news on the Turian Arc yet. Or is this militia business? Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. <laughs> I like Kandros. I like him a lot. Okay, so we can talk to Tan. We can also talk to Cash. Where the heck is Cash? Oh, yeah. Oh, we can also talk to Addison. <sighs> speak with the journalist. Speak with the journalist. Wait, there's another. Oh. Vladimir Breka. Wait, are you are you Addison's aide, Vladimir? Please address concerns first with Director Addison. One must obey protocol. You know what? Forget you too. Yeesh. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct, and you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. I'll do the exploring. Don't you have someone else to track the numbers? Get off your perch. This is where numbers become lives. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. I I do not like you and I don't like all these stinking top people. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. <laughs> You're kidding? Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward. And our future. How can I help? I know what to do. All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. So, oh, right. basically, AVP is what happens when you actually make planets viable, and then you can use your points to. Tell people to wake up. Now you would think that that would be interesting. That'd be more NPCs on the on like you know walking around. Probably more people talking about stuff. No. No. It just gives you bonuses. That's it. <laughs> it's dumb. Science pods, military pods, commerce pods. Trade is lifeblood. These talented merchants and entrepreneurs can use their connections to acquire rare items. You know what? Uh, Proven initials research, resource gathering for uh, uh, 
These do absolutely nothing. So you know what we're gonna do? Commerce. Why? Money. <laughs> yeah, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me credits. Will I even use this? Who knows? But money. Woo! Okay, please tell me that that 270 is gonna leave. Okay, good. Oh boy, this game. All right, where's the, where's the, where's the journalist? Uh, 80% viability. Woo! Okay. <laughs> wait, so there's, wait, how many planets? There's five. All right. Okay, let me see. Um, eight apex. Sure. I'll, 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 I'll get right on that. Where is the path of the hero? Wait, what? It's it for me to talk, but I guess I can't. Okay, police receiver on Eros. Yes, I understand. We need to talk to Tan. All right. Okay, Tan. We got a lot of stuff to talk to you about, and I am not looking forward to it. Hello again. Hello, Director Tan is expecting you. Last time you I was can't... here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Yeah, boy. I guess this is one bet that paid off. Point taken. Always revel in your victories. That's why I'm standing here. Oh, I never doubted you. It was the others. They don't share our vision, Ryder. Of a prosperous future in Andromeda. Why would Star Wars be scarier than Fallout? It's stinking Star Wars. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, Alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Oh. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. I wasn't really asking for it. Of course. I support that kind of enthusiasm. Right. Sure. Um, you could get trapped in a black hole. I mean... Yeah? Have you seen the enemies? Ryder, this is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your brother. Sort of. Drop by when you can. Hyperion Medbay. Will do. 
Okay, so I can go in. A reminder, you have AVP outstanding. Right. Have to talk to Addison's assistant about viability perks. Sounds useful. Oh boy. Oh boy. I already done that. What? Oh, hi. What are you doing here? Isn't that a win? You could... You, you don't get to fight Reapers. I mean... True? Thinking true? So wait, this is a... Oh, this was Tan's place. Look at rocks! Stinking rocks, dude! Oh, this is more moral to my dad, isn't it? Wait, no, it's just a memorial in general. Okay. Planetary Hollow. Oh, this tells me where planets are stinking viable. Korra is being Korra. Cool. What this dude. Humanity's first crewed ion engine starship. Built using technology proven by the ESA Smart One probe in 2003. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> the Normandy! Secretly acquired blueprints of the SSV Normandy SR2, a stealth forget based on designs co-developed by Systems Alliance and Tyrian Hierarchy. Normandy! What the fuck is this? The Ravuna. A model of the Ravuna, an early Tyrian starship, and their first child being on the mass relay. Aw, that's cool. Well, I still have enough money to buy either Fallout New Vegas. I'm not playing Fallout. I'm just telling you right now, I'm not playing Fallout. <laughs> these are these are these are dates. These are dates. First ESA mission to the Jupiter system called Juice. All right, fine. Okay, let me see. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I? Okay, I need to talk to Tan about a lot of things. Had a year to think about it. It's the scourge, Director Tan. Its origin defies all known explanation. How? We've brought all that equipment along. And the Tempest readings are helping, but we've just scratched the surface. The history of the initiative cannot show that we were defeated by a space cloud. Some things are bigger than we are. I will not accept that excuse. This is science, and your merry band over there are scientists, aren't they? Figure it out. Goodbye, Director. All right, I see you, Ken. Ryder, you're off to a promising start. I meant what I said. You are a symbol now of hope that things will get better. Though I worry about this terraforming network. What do we really know about it? It's like nothing we've ever seen. It's clear somebody had big plans for this cluster. But who? Not sure yet, but at least we're on the trail. Did you have some other business? Yeah, I do. I mean, here's the thing, dude. If you buy me stinking Fallout or Half-Life, I'm just not gonna play it. I'm telling you right now, I'm just not gonna do it. So don't don't, don't don't I'm just I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. And we're setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. I hear you. It sucks when things aren't black and white. Yeah, no. Are they ever? <sighs> if we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? So, you would think that, you know, us figuring out that he, you know, he didn't, he didn't commit the murder, but he wanted to commit the murder. You think that this decision would matter? It doesn't. <laughs> so, um, I'm just gonna release him because I can't be bothered. It was crazy down there, life and death, but his shot didn't kill Reynolds. We have to let him go. You're a bottom line type of person. I hope we don't regret it. All right, so be it. He will do community service for his role in the chaos, but he's a free man. Well, at least we'll have the sordid business behind us. Woo! We did it! 
Do I get EXP? No. So I did that quest for nothing. I love this game. This game's great. Stinking awesome, dude. <sighs> Sneaking awesome. Okay, well, where the heck is Dr. Adriana? Let's go find her and see what stinking firefighter she wants us to go and find or whatever. Ooh. And we also need to go talk to Kesh and be like, hi, Kesh. What do you want us to do? Touch. Sweet touch. Given me to wait. Hold on. Where the heck? Oh, she's not here. Where's Cash? Hey, Drek is here. He's come to say hi to his granddaughter. Oh my God, he's so cute. How many times have I told you this story? Three hundred and forty-three. Wait, what? You be keeping count? <laughs> Rusha, that's not funny. I love these two dum dums. Basically, she, that's just her little diary. Hey, Jack! Come to say hi to your granddaughter. Jack, come on, I'm trying to say hi. Ryder, can you believe this place? One space station slightly dented? You should have seen it a year ago. It was more than just dented. Anyway, thanks for bringing me on. Tan can't kick me off the station now, and it's been nice seeing my granddaughter again. Aww, you missed her. You really did miss her while you were gone, huh? I really did. Cash can handle herself just fine, but it's still good to be nearby, just in case. Oh my goodness gracious, this stinking game. Pathfinder. Thanks for helping Raj and Zara find Atkins. He's not getting out of lockup for a while. See, but here's the thing, here's the thing. I'm not trying to stinking fight monsters and zombies and mutants. I'd rather fight aliens. Aliens and Sith Lords. Dell told me you saw her arguing with Spender. Hijack's doing his best to throttle my department. How's he getting away with that? Spender doesn't know the first thing about engineering, but he knows how to play people. More importantly, he still talks to the exiles. I'm sure of it. I just can't prove it without your help. Reapers? Husks? Yeah, I don't I don't like that. I didn't like I didn't like fighting them. But you know what? You you, you know what kept me going? You know what led me through to the light? Do you know what it was? Do you know what it was? Do you know what it was? You know what it was. Tell me what it was. This needs to be investigated. I'm glad someone thinks so. Talk to Canvos. He likely has security footage of some kind of evidence, but you'll have to convince him to authorize release. Dude, I didn't even use a shotgun. I don't use Nothing shotguns. Good luck out there. I think the only time I ever even used a shotgun for like more than like one stinking what's it called um like thing was during Titanfall and even then I didn't use it for that long. A full automatic assault rifle. With grenade No, forget grenade launchers. Forget the grenade launchers. I'm not into grenade launchers. Flamethrowers, no, no. What made it worth it? What made it all worth it? Was Garris. And y'all know that. <laughs> <laughs> Plus they backed a dozen hey, Kendros. Hey, my guy. How goes it? Glad to see you finally. I hear you've been busy out there. That's one word for it. If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I was told I should talk to you about the mutiny. I wasn't on the Nexus when it happened. I started reading up on it, but you know how things get around here. Do you know where Spender was during that time? Why Spender? Wait, you think he might have had something to do with the mutiny? Maybe. Just trying to sort things out. You know, the logs I did look through showed a few discrepancies. I meant to dig deeper. If you're investigating, how about I give you access to the security vid archives? Thank you. Anything else? Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. 
You and me both, Pathfinder. Why is this man not a love interest? Okay, um, so we need to go and find the uh, Nexus beauty footage. Not it. Wait, hold on. Nani? No. Okay. Um. Hmm. I swear, the stinking how how you do quests in this is so monkey. All right, where are the okay? There you go. All right, so let's go see the security for just see what Spender's been doing. Spend there. Your reign of terror ends now. Huh. This file won't play. Sam, can you boost the quality? Processing. Playback initiated. Wait. Is he handing something over to one of the mutineers? Take this. Back. It'll help. Wrongly. Don't. I am sorry, Pathfinder. This backup file is corrupted. The audio tracks are heavily degraded. Someone may have deleted the original, and this version was restored during a system-wide reset. Sounds like a cover-up to me. I concur. While I cannot restore any more audio, the location appears to be Kadara. How do you figure? In common parlance, lip reading. I do not recognize the location from any current data. It appears mountainous and populated. We will need to find the planet before I can confirm. I will contact you via my node. Uh, confront Spender. Let's go confront Spender. Alright, where's where's Spender? Spender! My guy! Wait, is he is he somewhere else? No, he's not, he's here. Spender! My guy! Why are you deleting footage? What you trying to do, my dude? Spender! Wait, 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 hold on, where is he? Also, what kind of name? Speak with the journalist. What journalist? Oh, there you go. Hi. The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. Director Tan loved the first broadcast. Sent a contribution for your expenses. Thanks. Hmm. Let's get to the juicy stuff. Scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. I gave Prodromos the best start a Pathfinder could. But we can't predict everything. We just do our best. Probably not the rah-rah quotes Tan would hope for, but very genuine. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? My crew and I take downtime together. We're a team. This is history too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. You're welcome. Bye. All right, Spender, you are an actual dum dum. Why are you messing around with people? Why did you cause the mutiny? mutiny? As well as you'd expect. So much violence. Then, after nearly destroying the station, the Krogan asked for more power. Good riddance. So you're racist. Writer, is it? William Spender. Apologies if we met before. I meet a lot of people running colonial affairs. Running Colonial Affairs? I thought you were the assistant director. That's right. Assistant to Addison. So we know who does all the real work. There's evidence tying you to some pretty shady things, Spender. I saw the footage. You were handing something off. What footage? From Gavorkum? Routine business meeting. Whoever you're talking to clearly has an axe to grind. And frankly, a Pathfinder shouldn't be wasting time on a witch hunt. You'd be wise to let this be. So what you're telling me is, you know, yeah. All right, so we can't do jack about that until we find the stinking planet where the uh, footage was from, which I don't know where it is. We'll figure it out at some point. And speaking of which, that planet has a lot of junk that I can go and mess around with. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in this game, but now that I'm doing more of these quests, I just realized that they're just... They have, like, no real ending unless you're doing, like... Or if you're doing, like, quests for, like, your people, or, like, main story quests, all the other quests are just kind of dumb. Execute him from being room. Okay, you know, we're not going to execute him, but we will stinking, you know... We will, you know, kick him and make him do community service. 
All right, now our our brother, our brother is um. He's still in a coma, so you know what that means. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me speak to Dr. Adriana. Where are we going? He's still in a coma, so we need to go and say hi to him while he's in a coma because I apparently that drone was the best start a Pathfinder could. But we can't predict everything. We just do our best. Um. That voice line didn't need to play. My goodness gracious, this game, man. This stinky game. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go to the Cry Bay to go say hi to my brother. Give me a second, I'm gonna get myself some, get myself some chocolate. Yeah, I mean. Milky Way to descendants. As of now, beacons confirming arrival in Helios remain unanswered. This is HNS. Alright, I've gotten, I've gotten the chocolate. Okay. So, what am I doing? Um, I came over here to go and see my brother. Because he is, um... This is not good. He, 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 he's, he's done good, yeah? I promise. Um... I will now head to Captain Blobby if they're all alone and don't need to say it. <laughs> Hello, medic. Lloyd Pathfinder. Today has not been a good day. Where's that? A large shipment of medical supplies intended for Prodromus was intercepted by those damned exiles. Scouts confirmed they've divvied the supplies up among their own outposts. It would be nice if the people you banish would just mind their own business, but they never do. Funny thing, people you kill mind their own business, and then it's super easy to take back what they took. Maybe when you come across them assholes, you can rectify all this. So what you're saying is, you want me to go find the exiles and kill them. Aren't you a doctor? Is this before or after the Reapers? This is technically before the reapers i believe this um i forget it's either in between mass effect 2 and mass effect 3 or mass or in between mass effect 1 and mass effect 2. give me a second we have the technology um Let me see. I wonder when it's gonna take place. Okay, it's between Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. So right before the Reapers This is like basically they left they left the Milky Way right before the Reapers came. So uh yeah. Nigel McCoy, who the heck are you? Pathfinder. I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were gonna start families out here together. I have a pendant our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Hmm. Sure. We'll we'll go and do that. Oh, this is my brother. Harry, what's happening with Scott? Well, we got him out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to uh, find him. You might say. I don't follow. Well, he's still in a coma, but he also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. 
He's made contact. I wouldn't think that's even possible. You and me both, but Sam, well, I guess supercomputers have a different view of things. They're in a coma. Scott's mental processes remain intact. So is he okay? You can ask him yourself. A moment while I establish a link with his implant. Proceed. Scott? Can you hear me? Is that you, sis? I don't understand. What's happening? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Wow, really? How are we talking? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. Guess I'll take your word for it. I can't feel anything, but I still hear you. Is that okay? <laughs> So, we can lie or we can just say so. Um, dad's dead. I'm not sure how to say this, but he's dead, Scott. What? There was an accident. What do you mean? Accident? How? I mean, dad. I know. It was all very sudden. Nothing anyone could do. I don't believe it. I'm sure he'd want to be here now. Did we at least find home? Dad kept talking about how amazing it would be. Uh. 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 <laughs> we can't lie to our little brother, can we? There's been some complications. The Golden Worlds didn't exactly deliver. I don't understand. I thought... Scott? This is... This is all wrong. This... is a nightmare. Scott, it's okay. I, I didn't mean to. His pulse rate is increasing rapidly. I don't feel well. That's enough for now. He needs to rest. Scott. What was that? Okay, Scott. I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> hmm. Well, we just gave our our little brother a mini heart attack. Seems legit. All right, cool. <laughs> exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, let's go find Dr. Adriana. Mm -mm 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 like, if someone would have asked me that, it would be like, nah, man, he dead, he dead, dead, dead. Nah, do you want some McDonald's chicken wings or not? Wait, McDonald's doesn't have chicken wings? You're talking about... What? In what country does McDonald's have chicken wings? <laughs> That'd be the day. That'd be the stinking day. And wait, 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 Y'all have chicken wings in McDonald's in Deutschland. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? There's spaghetti in McDonald's. Of course it <laughs> You know what? That's actually not that surprising to me. And our breakfast menus has butter croissant. Okay, see now, I know y'all breakfast menus are stinking delicious compared to American breakfast menus, but why do y'all have chicken? They making bank in Europe. Why do y'all have stinking chicken? <laughs> like actual chicken. Dude. In Spain or Portugal, they say alcohol. Of course they do. Okay, you know what, you know what? Next time I go to Nigeria, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to stink in like, you know, go to Frankfurt. I'm gonna have my, my, my layover be in Frankfurt. And I'm gonna, gonna try, I'm gonna look at the stinking McDonald's and the Frankfurt stinking <laughs> airport and be like, yo, give me some chicken. I wanna taste this, this legendary mythological German McDonald's chicken, please. <laughs>
Hello, Pathfinder. A moment. What oh, can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise, perhaps not. Sam likes new experiences. It'll be an opportunity to encounter math homework. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into Sam node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. Okay. <laughs> Also, German McDonald's and general, I believe, taste different due to bitter food rules and restrictions we have. Which I guess is every country. No, yeah, that's every country. Like, it's not so much even just food rules, it's just. Wait, there's a. Someone else has a. Uh, is it her? No, it's not her. Somebody else has a stinking quest for me. Um, It's just that, what's it called? Uh, Certain ingredients may be more common in some countries than others, or like say, it, it or may, maybe say like they just have different like um, rules as to what you can put in your food or whatnot. So that's why whenever like you go to another country, for the most part, certain things taste different. It's kind of like when I went to Nigeria last year, right? And I got a Fanta in, was it Frankfurt? Hmm. I think we stopped in Frankfurt. We either stopped in Frankfurt or France. No, I think we're for Frankfurt. So we went to Frankfurt for when I was coming back, right? And I got a Fanta. See, in America, a normal orange Fanta is just straight up orange soda, right? Something that Kel would love, right? Sure glad I went to school for but y'all Frankfurt stinking airplane Fanta is literally just a bubbly orange juice. It's not even soda. It's literally just sparkling orange juice, and it didn't taste bad. It's just I was not expecting just straight up orange juice with bubbles in it. Okay, now we're back. That was very, very strange. That was extremely strange because my internet was working. My internet, my internet did not. No, 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 it wasn't Twitch. It was actually me. I don't know how though, because my internet didn't go down. But my OBS said that I had zero KB for the stream. So, uh, I don't know what happened. I have no idea what happened. But hey, yo, we're back. We're stinking back, boys. Anyway, um, what's that saying? Um, uh, um. Wait, you guys have created Fanta? Hold on. Hold on. Why did I think Fanta was a stinking, what's it called, Spanish soda? What country? You lie! Fanta came from Italy! Fight me! <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Fanta, Fanta was made in Naples, Italy in 1955 by Coca-Cola Bacon. Coca-Cola bacon. Yeah. And this is, uh... Hold on. Wait, no, I lied! Now, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, wait, hold, okay, you know what? I'm okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is important. This is some real important nonsense. Okay, hold on. I might, I, I think I lied. So. Oh, gosh, you're right. It was German. So then what the heck is this? Okay, 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 all right, all right. Google lied to me. Google lied to me because... Google lied to me. The soft beef was evident in Coca-Cola by American coming inside German during World War II? Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, this is this is important. It's important, we're gonna, we're gonna take a, we're gonna take a brief, a, a brief pause because soda is very, very important. All right, give me, give me, give me a second. All right, let me see. Uh, 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 uh. 
Okay, so. See, so, okay, so here it says it start. Fanta traces its origins back to World War II. At the time, the Coca Cola business in Germany was one of the most successful, second only to the company sales in the. So, wait, 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 wait. Coca Cola started in Germany? Wait, I'm confused. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Coca Cola Company. I am so confused. And then, see, what does this mean? What does this mean? Okay, I'm. Mm. Alright, so the Coca Cola Company. So, is a multinational beverage. Wait, how much are they worth? Stinking. Uh, so, their total equity or their total assets. Are like 86 billion for great stinking chips. Anyway, um, so when was it? At the time of its inv invention, the product contained cocaine from coca leaves, coca leaves, and caffeine from cola nuts, which together acted as a stimulant. <laughs> so, <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. Okay, I always wondered where the coca from Coca Cola came from. So you're telling me, you're telling me that Coca-Cola legit had cocaine in it. See, that's why they got, that, see, that's, that's, that's why they got so stinking popular, okay? All right, well, all right, so wait, when the, where the heck did this start? 1986, Columbus, Georgia invented the Coca-Cola drink. So it's, so Coca-Cola is American. Coca-Cola is stinking American. Okay, of course it's stinky in American because they put cocaine in it. But then we go to Fanta. <clears throat> Fanta is a brand of fruit flavored carbonated drinks created by the Coca-Cola Deutschland under the leadership of German businessman Mac Keith. Fanta originated in Germany as Coca-Cola substitute in 1940 due to the American trade embargo on Nazi Germany, which affected the availability of Coca-Cola ingredients. Fanta soon dominated the German market with 3 million cans sold in 1943. The current formula- Ah, oh, okay, see. Okay, alright, 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 alright. So, how Fanta is made now is based off of a recipe from Italy, but it was- the OG was from Germany because they had to have fruit soda instead of actual cocaine because of Nazi Germany. Dude. 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 The more you stinking know. The more you're stinking, no. <laughs> Technically, Fanta was made in Germany by an American brand. Okay, yeah, but yeah, according to Wikipedia, it was made by a German dude in Deutschland because of World War II, and they there was a trade embargo, so they couldn't get cocaine over there to make actual stinking Coca-Cola. So they had fruit cocaine instead. History is very interesting, no? All right, well, now that we figured that out, <laughs> I've learned something new today. Will I ever use this information again? Probably not. <laughs> okay, back into the back into the breach. All right, what the heck am I doing? Oh, I have I I leveled up, like what twice? All right, tech. All right, I'm um, when in doubt. Yeah. <laughs> What does tech support do? Team shields, team power damage, effect duration. These so these are like literally all just passives. See, I could do that. Oh. All right. Um. Um. I don't know any of this. <laughs> We're not doing biotics because I'm not special. Okay. What this do? What this do? Uh, recharge speed, turret help. Sure. There you go. Yes. And when in doubt, we will. Uh. More damage. More damage. All the damage and um, more shields. Yes. There we go. Confirm. Yeah. Now we got a stinking. Wait. Do we have to do these guys? Yes, we do. Is there an option for me to just auto level up all my people? Because I really cannot be bothered. 
Automatic distribute your skill points each time you load up. Got him with holy yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because I'm really not trying to do my friends over and over again. There we go. See, when I'm not on a PS5, it takes forever for the nonsense a stinking update. We're missing one person. Maybe we'll actually see them tomorrow. Who knows? I know for a fact we ain't seen them today. Oh, we got another quest here. Hello there, Ben Shapiro. <laughs> Talk to me! What's the trouble? I've got power shortages throughout the station. I can't allow for me to find the cause. Oh, whoa, you, you're you the Pathfinder. Hey, sorry, please ignore me. You've got way more important things to do. True. <laughs> power to the Nexus is pretty important. I'm happy to help. That, that's great, because I'm at a loss. There are obvious short circuits cropping up all over the place. A Pathfinder's eye might reveal something. There's a power short here. We could scan the area. Okay. So now we're playing Stinking Electrician. Because heaven forbid, you know, we actually have anything important to do. <laughs> Alright, over here. If that's the courage I'm wondering about, standard calling radiation shields should handle it. But I hate you should. Uh, what do you mean, what did you leave? Oh, I just learned that, what, what's it called? We learned, um, why, uh, you know, Fanta doesn't have cocaine Scan in it. To assess the nature of the damage. Wait, what? Oh, there you go. Operations, we have to go to operations now. Oh, basically, um, we realized that, uh, Coca-Cola started in America. But Fanta started in Germany because there was an embargo on cocaine or whatever. So they couldn't get the cocaine they needed to make normal Coke because of Nazi Germany and all that stuff. And then um, the, co the, the, the current um, formula for uh, the current formula for Fanta now is from Italy. So we learned some stuff new today. Yeah. Yeah. But it still doesn't change the fact that, like, stinking German Fanta is literally just bubbly orange juice. <laughs> Y'all are boring. It's bubbly, stinking orange juice. Now, that's not to say I also had Fanta apple juice while I was over there, and it's literally just bubbly apple juice. But it's not like stinking... But it's not like stinking sparkling apple juice that you get for, like for people who, like, don't drink apple cider. But it's still bubbly apple juice. I'm sorry, yes, y'all are boring. An animal did this? Affirmative. I am able to track it. Animal did this. Oh, look at that! He's gone! Wait, oh, there was somebody else here. Are due the hour. Oh. Yeah, you guys are together again. Sneaking moochers. I can't believe it. You're free. Oh, Pathfinder, we have you to thank. Yes. I'm glad you did the right thing, Ryder. You'd better live a clean life, Nilkin. Or else. What? What does she mean by that, love? I'll tell you later. Let's just get home. <laughs> He's not gonna tell her. He's, he's, he's not gonna stinking tell her. Last time I checked, we can name more U.S. states than most Americans can name European countries. I mean, that doesn't make you not boring. <laughs> that, that doesn't make you not boring. <laughs> Creature? What the heck is this? Pathfinder. I believe you found the culprit responsible for the power shortages. What in the world is this nonsense? It's like a sticking... Kill it! Alert Professor Herrick to come secure it. 
You make good cars? Yes, you do make good cars. That doesn't make you not boring. <laughs> the stinking Japanese make great cars too. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say. The Italians make pretty cars though. I don't know how good they are, but they make some stinking pretty cars. Maserati, the Maserati, eh, the Bugatti, the Bugatti, eh. Exile raid, yes, 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 lost brother. Okay, let's maybe turn out some of the lights. We got that out at some point. Um, so what are we actually doing? We can go to the old system. We can't do nothing here, can't do nothing here, can't do nothing here. Let's fight us. Run, we need to go to Sam node now. Alright, let's go to Sam node. Back onto the happy alien. Um, food schnitzel bratwurst. I don't like, I don't, I don't like sausages. I've never had schnitzel though. I've had basically American schnitzel, I guess, kinda. But I've never had actual schnitzel though. I don't know if there's any German-ish restaurants around here where I could even try like some monkey version of it. Did I do it the wrong way? No, it's over here. Bread? What kind of bread is German bread? I've eaten a lot of bread in my day. You have like 300 kinds of bread. I mean... I mean... Okay. <laughs> See, all these things you're listing are just listing stuff y'all do. Not necessarily how that makes y'all not boring. Alright? <laughs> that, that, that. Welcome back, writer. Dr. Aradon at the tech lab sent some equations for you to solve. I'm ready. Transferring them now. Have fun. Hey, what the... Sam? Delicious code detected. Please stand by. Sam? Attempting to compromise malicious code. Please stand by. Is there anything I can do? Sam? Is that another malfunction or... Sam? You trying to show me something? Okay, I think I got it. Sam, talk to me. Hello, Pathfinder. Please initialize the console to restore normal operations. Sam, what happened? The equations contained a Trojan horse program, a virus, specifically targeted to sever our connection and render me helpless. Reconnecting would be impossible. How do you feel? Are you okay? I cannot feel pain. However, I would avoid repeating the experience, which is the purpose of pain in organic life. Unlock the door. Let's head to the tech lab and see what Dr. Aradana has to say. So, she tried to kill Sam! Well, well that's just stinking grand now, ain't it? Well, now it's time to stink and show her that we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't take that kind of nonsense here. The only person who can kill Sam is me. When I feel like it, and I don't feel like it today. See, I, see, see, this is why I don't like Asari, okay? They're all stinking trifling. They, 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 they lie. The only good part about them is that they're blue. That's it. <laughs> Actually trifling, okay. All right, little miss, I'm a stinking doctor trying to stinking destroy Sam. What do you got to say for yourself? I will take nothing. I, I, will, I will take stinking nothing, but a very, very, very deep I'm sorry. And maybe some cake. Maybe. Ask me legit cake, though. This Not have DNA. Are you sure the scan isn't contaminated? I'm certain, Professor. More data on life in the cluster, whatever you can find. Welcome, Pathfinder. Did Sam solve the equations I sent? Solve them? They almost brought down Sam Node. The equations contained a virus designed to target artificial intelligence. You think I... Never. I abhor violence against any life, organic or synthetic. 
Then how did the virus find its way into your equations? Perhaps my files were altered or replaced. But why? Hmm. I've seen a lot of down with AI sentiment lately. Graffiti, complaints to ten. Perhaps someone took the next step. Why would anyone hate artificial intelligence? Synthetic life has different needs and motivations. It can be mysterious and powerful. Many fear what is not understood. If graffiti is the best they can do, maybe they could use some artificial intelligence. Entire species were driven into exile by AI they created, champ. That leaves a mark. Attacking Sam is bold, though. I wonder if there have been similar incidents. The AI kiosk was busted this morning. I can look around. All right, see, this is, I thought I thought we were gonna get something cool, like she was some evil mastermind scientist Asari, but no, it's just some stinking dum-dums who are like, we don't like robots, they scary. Oh my God, they scary. Artificial intelligence is a threat to all organic life. Why not ask for more details? Oh, this Avina's red. Wow. Hey, Carrot Top. What are you doing over here? Hello. Did you know? Detecting Pathfinder Rider. Hi there. Excuse the educational stuff. I hacked Avina as a sock puppet. So, our virus set you free. Hope you're doing better without that AI jammed into your head. You sent that virus to free me? From Sam? Not just me. Our movement. We couldn't let you suffer with that thing in your brain. Pathfinder, it's possible they don't realize their virus failed. Pretending that it worked might win their trust. Hello? Ryder? Yes. Uh, I can't believe I'm free. Thank you. This is what our movement is for. Helping people like you. Knight says human AI merging is a threat to all life. She'd know. Trust me. Oh. Knight's our founder. The virus wouldn't exist without her. Who the heck is Knight? Some of those breads me hopefully mean something. I mean, it's bread. <laughs> it's a bread. See now, if y'all said y'all created raisin bread, I'd be like, mmm, ain't that interesting? Or if you made like the cinnamon swirl bread with the raisins in it, I'll be like, oh my god, these guys, they know what they're doing. Bread rolls or called. Broschen? Broschen? Brosch? I don't know. I don't know how to say that. I'm not German, man. I should thank Knight in person. I'll ask her. She might even give you a tour of our sanctuary. Great. Thanks. Can't promise anything, but watch your email. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The whole movement of AI-hating hackers with a leader called Knight. She and her followers seem to have experience with human AI partnership. If they attacked you, they're capable of anything. I'll check my email. We need to find them. Did you know Geth murdered billions of Quarians in the morning war? Wow, okay. Well, we need to wait for an email from Knight. See, I don't like pumpkin. I'm not a fan of pumpkin. <clears throat> so people who are all up in arms about like pumpkin spice and stuff, I'm just like, I don't understand you. It's not my, it's not my, uh, it's not my cup of tea. All right, so there's some stuff we can go and do on stinking um, EOS. Buy some stuff. I mean, there's like one, there's like two things we can do on EOS. So we'll go and do that. Okay, so hold on. We're, we're gonna go and do that, and then we're going to a new planet because there's nothing else to do here. And Candles doesn't want to hug me, so I'm sad about it. Brochen, Brochen. Did you know Jiffy is an actual and accurate measurement of time? No, I did not. I like pumpkin pie, but not pumpkin flavors. I don't like pumpkin anything. I don't like pumpkin spice coffee, pumpkin spice bread. I don't like pumpkin pie. It's not my thing. Not into the gourds. He also implanted sunflower seeds. Why would you put sunflower seeds in bread? Just eat the sunflower seeds. <laughs> Rider. Hey, Kalo. Well, just eat the sunflower seeds. You don't need to put them in bread. 
Seems like always. Ready for an interview? I've already done this. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> Need some eels. We have to go back to EOS anyway, because these people need my help, because heaven forbid they figure some stuff out on their own. Dude, I don't even know what I'm doing. I can barely hold a gun. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Wild remnant parties? What else would you use it for? Well, that's a thought. You don't really think they... Oh. Joking, I see. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> I should get back to things. Sounds good. All right. We also been good luck. You pronounced that really well. You pronounced that actually good. Ah, thank you. I try. See, see, I can get away with it. Cause I'm not full American. I was born in the motherland, and I was only raised in the America. So, I ha I can cheat a little bit. <laughs> I can cheat just a tiny bit. Hey, Kalo. Oh, the ship manual's useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. You can't just meddle with... I got this ship launch ready in record time, Kalo. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Kalo. Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. What can I do for you? I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Did you know we have 302 zoos in Germany? That's a lot of zoos. Y'all have a lot of aminals. <laughs> I don't know how many zoos we have over here, if we have that even close to that many. Hey, guys. Right, I'm working with a vetra to track down prosthetic gel and those other items we discussed. You're too good to me, Doc. Nothing for me. Playing favorites, Lexi? What? No. Uh. <laughs> you guys have anything new to say, or y'all just chillin'? I've seen a lot of shit in my life, but that vault certainly was a first. Things are gonna be interesting with you around, kid. Doesn't matter what life throws at me. It's what I make of it, right? You keep that going, you just might live as long as I have. Minus zero at the end. Now that we've been digging, it's clear you were right about Spender. Guy like that'll do anything to get ahead. Just wonder how far he went. We can talk more later. Sure. Do I care about Cora enough? Not really, but we're gonna talk to her anyway, because she's here. Back again? Um, uh, coming back again? Why? Do you like being around with? Uh, bye. See you later, Cora. You also, wait. I'll be here. Also, if you go on Google Maps and press and drag the yellow man thing, you can see how big How big, prit, privet, and how little, uh, huh? I don't know what you're trying to say there. We also believe, I believe we have the bald eagle compared to other EU countries. The bald eagle, ooh, America, all the good stuff. Okay, let's see, is there any cutscenes that I should be looking at? Super five, I went in, I'm in back again. Okay, let's see. Oh, where's those PB? remnant vaults, all those secrets. I have to go exploring in one someday. Imagine flying through one. Now that would be a real hazard course. These both these guys are nerds and I love them. Belarus has more less blue than Germany privacy. Oh, okay. Well, what does privacy have to do with anything on Google Maps? Is it just like, hey, we won't show you anything? Hey, Petra. So Petra, I hear this joker beat you with poker too. Where'd you hear that? The 
little Brody told her. A gloating Brody? It was a close game. Did he give me a better game than Drat? Not saying much. Watch it. Forget him. Let's get a game going with everyone else to hone our skills and take him out. Let's do it. Hey, Costa, want in on this? No thanks. I need my creds. And my clothes. And both my kidneys. You don't need both your kidneys. You can live with one. Need something? Need something done? Oh, okay. Anyone special in your life? No, I'm good. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. I key healthcare is like a thing in most places that isn't Marika, so I can't even I can't even I can't even be like impressed with that. <laughs> talk to me. I'm interested in you. No, not really. <laughs> we'll talk later. I know it. I think no I didn't think they have anything to say because we haven't done anything important. Like, you know, terraforming another area. Yet. Nade, get the lift down here. We need to go talk to PB and, and, and Gil. Nade. Bro. Oh, I didn't hold it. Haha. -ha. I'm, I'm, I'm so used to just, like, tapping. <laughs> hey, PB. You're outside of your thing. I don't drink. <laughs> I don't drink. My dad did love you Heineken did. back in the day, though. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. I do what I want. Don't tell me what to do. Hey, Gidu. Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Out with it already. What's the deal with you and Callo? Anything I should be concerned about? Uh, twist my arm, why don't you? It, it's contrasting styles more than anything. He's a blueprint guy. I'm gears and guts. Got ink on his digits, not grease, up to his elbows. If you didn't have me to balance him out, you might be in trouble. <sighs> Heck, maybe that goes both ways. So then stop yelling at each other and run the ship. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Alright, I think that's about everyone, so we're going back to Eos. Wait, none day. Where did everybody go? Oh. Oh, yeah. Open borders. I mean, technically, 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 the Canadian border is the biggest unmanned border or un. What's it called? Policed border in the world? Technically? 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 Technically. Let's just leave it at that. Alright, we're going back to EOS. What's this? I didn't mean to you. How do we, how do we, how do we get back to EOS? Oh. A trail of hope, Aya. Oh, oh. Oh, this is important. Alright, you know what? We'll, we'll end the stream over here. But for now, we're going to go back to EOS. Pass the field the fish. <laughs> We're gonna go place a thing. We're gonna go place two things. A dead, a, something for somebody's dead brother and uh, a, a, a satellite or something, I guess. Okay, better education, I guess. <laughs> uh, I, I can't comment on that. I really can't comment on that because I have not looked at like test scores and whatnot of kids and or adults. Homavios and Podromos. So I mean, if you say so, I'll defer to you, but I'm not gonna comment on it because I personally do not know. What? <laughs> okay, what do you mean answer carefully? <laughs> Did I play the story mode in Grand Theft Auto 5? Grand Theft Auto 5 is the current Grand Theft Auto, right? It's the one with the what's it called, the Yee Yee haircut. <laughs> and and the one weird guy who probably has a thing for his mom. Uh it says that GTA 5 is the current one. If that is the current one, I did not play the story mode. 
but I have watched my sister and Fluffy play the story mode, so I know everything that happens in it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. My sister stinking loves G GTA. Fluffy liked GTA, but my sister loves the heck out of GTA. It's like, it's a problem. And my baby sister likes GTA too. I'm not a fan of it, but like, I, as I said, I've, I've watched them play the, the story mode, so. And no, I would not play GTA. <laughs> It's not my kind of thing. I prefer watching somebody else play GTA, to be honest. Because, cause first off, besides the fact that I can't shoot worth nothing, it's also, like, cars. I, As you can see, I don't know how to drive cars worth nothing. I don't know how to stinking drive planes worth nothing. It's not good. I've located a suitable site for an HNS receiver, Pathfinder. Nav point is set. There you go, Togs. I'm, uh... Oh, wait, also, Stinky... Somebody here wanted my help. Why are you drunk out in the open in the daylight? Is Michael in witness protection? Uh... I don't think so? Wait, Jacob Mitney? Jacob? Wait, who's, who's Jacob? Jacob, is this you? Hi... Pathfinder. Jacob Mitney, Research and Development. My team's just getting set up here, but we've made a discovery you might want to check out. No. All ears. We've put together a blueprint for augmenting your armor plating. Uploading it now. If you can collect the necessary resources from around EOS, it should work. Is this a sure thing, Mitney, or just pie in the sky? I have no interest in wasting your time. This could form the basis for armor production across the initiative. Scrounge safely, Pathfinder. I do not want. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, craft a Pathfinder chest piece. Okay. And um, how am I supposed to do that? There is no maybe. I don't know, dude. It's been a while. I've, as I said, I've watched the entire story of stinking mess, uh, not mess, of stinking GTA. It's just been so long, dude. GTA has been out for like who knows how long. I'm gonna say no, I guess. Um, let's see. Research. Do or do not. There is no try. All right. So wait. No, they want me to craft it. So. I think they want me to craft an, a Pathfinder armor piece. What am I crafting? I can't craft nothing because I don't have no stinking titanium or stinking platinum. Wait, hold on. Hold on. What, what the heck is the quest I'm supposed to do? Craft the Pathfinder chest piece. So there's a Pathfinder chest piece I'm supposed to stinking craft, but I don't think I found the materials for it. Yeah, I'm- Ooh! Ooh! It's N7! Ooh! Alright, so uh, well we'll come and do this when I get more platinum. Where do we get platinum? Oh. Somewhere. But it's N7. Ooh. It's nice. Um, hold on. Uh, 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 I can't do none of this. Feels bad, man. Okay. I don't know how to customize my stinking vehicular either. Either way. Alright, so that's what they wanted me to do then. We can't do that yet. We'll do that later. Um, let's see. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm supposed to get an EOS or something. Oh, uh, place receiver an EOS. All right, cool. Where's uh, where's this receiver? This is a map. Really? How do I get up there? I'm gonna guess it's over there. But can I go through this stinking? Will they allow me to go through the radiation? You upgrade it's all the nomad. Oh yeah, boy! I should be able to go through the stinking nonsense now. 
Now, how do we get there? Okay, go keep going straight and then right. Ah! Okay, we'll keep going straight and then to the right. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I'm huh? I'm gonna make again my feel. Can be with my neuroscope of reality. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Cool. <laughs> no! I didn't mean to do that, no! <laughs> okay, it's fine. Okay, alright. Radiation levels are severe. Seek safety immediately. What do you mean? I kind of like EOS. Could be Stockholm Syndrome. A hard world, but you can get used to anything if you try. Simple way to know you did good. More people walking than buried. The Outland Spire. You can see it from almost anywhere. Recording a nav point for an engineering data key, Pathfinder. An explorer to a fault. Fascinated even when scared. Engineers are weird. Okay, all right, so we, we can't do this yet. <laughs> we can't do that yet because the radiation is realer than fiction. Okay, no, we're not doing that. Uh, okay, so due to we come to the bank, I saw Newton, Michael, Trevor, and someone brought, robbing it. No, I remember that. Everything went smooth. So the brat got shot after that. They oh, shot Michael. Levels. Fast forward, funeral, blah, blah, blah. Now we get Franklin. Oh. Oh, yeah, that makes, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. I do what I want. Oh yeah, I forgot it's Franklin, not Michael. <laughs> Alright, so hold on, there's something else. Okay. Place the pendant. Where is the pendant? Over there. Okay. Oh, there's another quest over here. What the heck is this? <gasps> okay, so there's another quest here that will probably try to take me to a stinking irradiated zone, and I'm really not about that life. <clears throat> so wait, why are you tell why are you retelling me the story of stinking GTA 5? <laughs> no, but like, why are you summarizing GTA 5? Like, what's, what's, what's going on? Detecting above normal radiation levels. I mean, okay, go ahead. I just didn't know if there was like, if, if it was something I, I, I needed to know or something. Super fine. <laughs> is it in here? Or is it up here? Wait, it's up? What do you mean? You lie through your teeth. Oh, don't tell me it's actually that. Will this thing let me go up like a stinking 90 degree angle? What do you mean I can't go up there? Okay, I guess I'm going around again. Ah! See, this is, see, this is why I can't play stinking nonsense like GTA. <laughs> this, is, this is what you get, alright? This is what you get. Radiation levels increasing. Oh boy, alright. What do you mean? <laughs> oh boy, what do you mean? Okay, alright, alright. I don't know where I am, I don't know where I'm going. All I know is that I must go up. <laughs> I must go up. Okay, alright. Alright, so it's somewhere around here, but I don't know where the heck it is. Bugs! <laughs> so somewhere around here, I suspect. I 
my hearing is. All right. Pathfinder, this is the spot where Nigel McCoy wanted you to leave his pendant. In honor of his brother, Dash McCoy. All right, we, we did it. We did it, and now we can go to the new planet because heaven forbid I have to try to explore, but the radiation kills my face. All right, back to the Tempest, let's get out of here. Ascent is go. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I guess it's about as happy of an ending as you can get. All clear. <laughs> Hello. Okay. So now we are going to the actual next major next Why won't you let me save? I'm on the stinking ship. I'm on the stinking ship. Let me save. Whatever. I don't I don't get I don't get this. Whatever. We're going to the next major area. And uh we'll probably get introduced to the person I like the most. Oh my god. So we're going to the Anoa Na Anaun 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 system. Some on those lines. We're on a collision course with unknown objects. Of course we are. Corrections, Sam. Are you on this? Collision is imminent. All stop now. Oh. It's the Covenant. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. We'll scan them back! The stinking covenant and the space seaweed? Where is the one who activated the remnant? Well, aren't you Their DNA it? signature is there. Answer me. You're the one in my way. Who are you? Dang, son. I mean, your ships are ugly. They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. I actually know a lot about the Remnant. We should compare notes. Enough! Your defiance is naive. Reckless. I do what I want. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. All right, later, dude. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the scourge. Do it! Oh no, not the gun chips. What? Oh. I was gonna say, like, why did I Report. think this explode? That was because of the spacing. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here. It will be tight. Hello? I still don't even understand yes. what the space thing it is, to be honest. Well, good job, Kalo. I like you. You're cool. We have left the space seaweed. <laughs> nice work, kid. Aww. Yeah. But who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. Ooh, it's like, like it's a burning, stinking palavan or something. We're being contacted. Ooh, we water. have to land. Open a calm. Tove Jagalesto. 
Cove, Jagalesto. We're visitors from another galaxy. Our intentions are peaceful. Av, Naleseto. They've sent us a nap point. Set us down. Hey, look at that. At least, you know, they're not shooting us down. Oh. There's literally a yes. race. <laughs> look at that. It's beautiful. It's like an oasis in the middle of, like, literal smoke and squalor. Seems legit. Oh, looks like we're in Florida! Oh my god. Hey, they got the gones on us, though. We need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. I do what I want. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. Okay, see, sometimes the lines are just kind of awkward. Oh, look at look at look, okay, look at the um look at the the. the... Oh, uh, now I'm looking at it again. They look really really awkward, don't they? I come in peace. I come in blue. I hope you like my color. I cannot understand you. Need me to take my shoes off? I just realized my hands look so stinking weird. Oh, look at these people! I'm Paran Shai. Governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed dark space. I've heard of your journey. Joel. I have this in hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. She's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Mm. Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? You can tell he's important because he looks different than everybody else. We have a vault. We come in peace to exchange knowledge. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I apologize. Landing here the way we did, without warning, on fire, was not the plan. That's good to know. Because if it was, that would be a very bad plan. They don't have a sense of personal space, I'll do they? I'll Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance Headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. See, what I'm wondering is how are they able to, like, you know, get their translators to update so fast to understand, you know, human. Or, like, you know, just our languages so fast and vice versa. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. They have some weird monkey frog, not frog feet. What's happening? We have a visitor. I'm not about that life. Look, look their feet are weird. I've never looked at their feet before, but not that I am, I'm kind of sad that I am. This is a sect. It belongs in a containment cell. We're going to try it. You don't know what you're doing. See, that's like the most animated I've Am I seen that intimidating? Anything. You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. Indeed. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. I, I, we kind of crash landed. It wasn't our fault. I like your place, though. It smells like oranges. How did it find us? She, not it. And stop staring. Dude, I do what I want. None of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Your city is beautiful. 
Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. City is pretty nice, actually. What happens if Ephra doesn't like me? Yes, I'm dead. He won't. But you need to earn his trust. So what you're saying is... He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. So what you're saying is... I'm gonna be doing stinking milk runs for everybody. This is the Resistance Headquarters. Ephra is waiting inside. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No, I'm telling you to be strong through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Personal space, please? Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then, you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose Vold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Milky Way. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. My people from the Milky Way were bold enough to come to Andromeda. I need to be at least that bold to save them. Hmm. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you, the Moshai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us. And you. There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Ephra. I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. What? The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want. But when she tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Thank you for trusting me. I don't. But I can always kill you in your sleep. Good to know. Uh, uh, great. I, you can always kill us in our sleep. It's great, great to know, Jal. Great to know. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Be careful out there. You know I will. 
You really think the Mershire is alive? I'm sure of it. Don't kill yourself bringing her home. No promises. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> I'm here to assist you, Pathfinder. Arigato. So apparently, from what I know about the Angara, when they were designing these aliens, they wanted to create something that could be pseudo easily cosplayed and obviously attractive. Because our boy, Big Big Gall Jaw over there, he is a love interest for both male and female writers. Because uh, reasons. And yes. Yes. He's he's the one I'm going after because everyone else is boring. Like, <laughs> okay, first off, Korra is for males only and I don't even like her if I was playing a male. Stinking Liam is boring and he's... The more I... The more I remember from just talking to him, he's kind of a... He's kind of a monk. Uh, Thubi, she's cute. But I'm not into girls, so we, we're not going for Thubi. Um... Kala, unfortunately, isn't even an option because he's a stinking Solarian, and that's just how Solarians work. Uh, they don't, they don't, they don't, first off, they don't even have, they don't really have sex drives, and second off, like, they don't really do relationships because of how short they live. So, as cool as Kala is, it just doesn't work. Um, Drac, I'm, first off, I'm not in the Krogan, and also, Drac is literally ancient. Um, Stinking PB, I'm not, I do not like Asari, and I don't like PB. So, uh, it's just, just a big no-no all around. Uh, who else? Gil is only for dudes. And even if he wasn't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, he seems alright, but... Eh. If I remember correctly, this lady right here, she is a, a one-night stand that you can do. I think only if you're male writers. So, uh, there's, there's, there, there's that. There is another... Uh, there's one more love interest that is more than just a one-night stand, but I believe both PB and this other love interest that we have yet to see can be one-night stands, but also have the potential of being actual romances if you care enough. Technically, a core romance, wait, but... Wait, she is? I thought she's a one night stand. But it is minimal. Oh, no, you're right, you're right. Okay, I'm stupid. No. She, okay, so she is an actual romance, but, um, the payoff is, uh, monkey, according to Fluffy. So, do this, do this, uh, do this at, at your own will, I, I suppose. But yeah, so the other person is technically a one night stand that can also move into an actual romance if you care for it. Now, he is more interesting. If 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 Jal didn't wasn't a thing or say if Jal was a female, I probably would have gone for the for the other guy when whenever we go and see him on where he's at. So, yeah. So, we're going for Jal. I may or may have not have a type. I mean, Rider, ship's fixed up and ready to fly. I mean, he 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 has a he has a visor. He has a has a deep voice and he's mostly blue. I'm I'm just I'm just saying. But anyway, so you have a quest for me. Whether or not I care about your quest has yet to be seen. Stars above, it's you. I was hoping to get a chance to speak with you. You left your home to cross dark space. Is it true you can never go back? Yeah, this is home now. To take such a risk and give up your old life. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist the adventure of a lifetime. I know the feeling. There's a rush in taking a chance and hoping for the best. My turn for a question. Do I get to know your name? Oh, of course. I'm Avela Kajar, curator for the Repository of History. We study relics of our past, try to piece together what we lost in the Scourge. And, the truth is, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Pathfinder, how much do you know about our history? I still have a lot to learn. Centuries ago, the Scourge targeted my people. Our ships were the first to go dark. Many of those ships went down over Havaral. The wilds of that planet are filled with history. A scientist on Havaral just contacted me with the new nav point of an intact crash site. A huge opportunity. But with Remnant patrolling the area, we can't get close enough. Not like you can. How do you know about me and the Remnant? I have friends in the Resistance. 
they heard your conversation with Ephra. I know it's a lot to ask, but you have a ship and the means to get past the Remnant. Without your help, I'm stuck. You're trusting your history with an outsider? I know what people say about you, but I don't agree. I think you're here to help. I am. Now's your chance to prove it. You want to earn Aya's respect, right? Recovering our past will go a long way. I don't think Ephra would be too happy with this arrangement. Ephra doesn't have to know, and if he finds out, he can direct his anger at me. Takes guts to stand up to him. I'd face worse to get a piece of our history back. I've always wanted to give archaeology a try. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. If you find anything, I'll be here. Thank you, Pathfinder. See, now, the, the more that I look at, like, the stinking Angara, the more I'm just like, these are some weird frog mermaid people. <laughs> I, I always call them, whenever I talk to Fluffy, I always call these guys mermaids, because, I don't know, they just remind me of mermaids. They're very aquatic looking. There's also a stinking quest over, you know, Soka, Soka Isof. Hello there, wannabe Jal. Trade. 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 Honey? Are you asking or telling? I'm wondering. Do you exchange goods and services? How does your economy work? We pay for things with a currency called credits. Abstract wealth. The cat offered gifts. Made odd bargains. Never traded. What are your credits worth? What can we do with them? You pay them to us for whatever we're selling. Now we cut open the heart. And what do you offer? I don't know. Uh, what do you want? Your ship? No. Not for sale. Worth a try. Is there something else I can do for you? Yes. Call me Soka. I run cargo between Aya and other worlds. Good work. Good at it. You're here to help my people. Prove it. I need help. One of my suppliers off-world stopped checking in. Has things I need. There could be trouble. What makes you think I can help? You found Aya, maybe you find my supplier. Can't hurt to ask. You're one of few people here willing to give me a chance. I'll take it. You have a ship? I have my supplier's nav point. His name is Kelvo. Find him, his supplies. Come back and prove you're helpful. Then maybe we trade. This guy seems like all of his marbles aren't really packed up in the bag, but you know what? He seems, he seems good enough. It's, fu it's fine with me. It's fine with me. It's close enough for me. All right, so now we are going to dip from Aya, and we're going to go and do what needs to be done to earn Ephra's trust, because heaven knows that the only way to prove that we are useful in any sort of stinking RPG setting is to go and collect milk for important people and kill stinking rogue dogs on the street. So that's what we're gonna go do. Who the heck is you? I am Enro Bosan, assistant to Governor Paranshai. You're free to explore this area, but the city is off limits. Until that changes, I'll be your liaison. How may I help you, Pathfinder? What can you tell me about your other worlds? Life on them is hard, the people harder. Every day is a struggle to survive. Why not bring everyone here? We will not abandon any more worlds to the Ket. And Aya cannot support all of us. You don't just stand here waiting to answer my questions, right? I assist the Governor in all matters. While you're here, this is my priority. Pretty far outside your normal job, huh? I did not begin this day expecting to speak with it. You? <laughs> nice save. Yeah, it's been a long day. Sounded like you and Joel know each other. Our families are related. You sound nothing alike. We have multiple worlds. Our culture is complex. I'd like to know more. Earn our trust and maybe you will. Alright. When am I allowed to visit the city again? That's not for me to decide. Who will? Your boss? Or Ephra? Governor Shai has jurisdiction over Aya. She will authorize your entrance if you earn Ephra's trust. You spoke with Soko and Avela. Help them, and you may help yourself. 
The Kent swayed us with words. Now we judge outsiders by their actions. Thanks for your time, Enro. Of course. Alright, Joel. You ready to get back on the ship? Wait, okay, Joel's not even talking to me. You know what? Fine, fine, fine. I'll just I'll just admire their view from, from close by. Your ship is <laughs> We have nothing like it. It's pretty, no? Wait till you see the inside. <laughs> it gets better. Oh yeah. You ready to go? I'll introduce you to the rest of my crew. <laughs> we got an Angara! He is purple, he has a visor, and he's basically my replacement for- <laughs> No cares! He's about as close as we can get, besides Kanjo's, but you know, we, we, can't, we can't have that, that's off limits apparently. <laughs> We go alone and never speak of this again. We depend on you. We depend. I I'm depend. just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he is. Rude? Y'all are mad. Do the translators not work? They work. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to just listen up? Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's a fair point. Jal? Seriously? Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Joel? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jal's told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vold. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me. And I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Don't know yet. Just be ready to go at a moment's notice. Got it? You bet. Jal, give Kala the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. Ooh. All right, so we gotta, we gotta go and do stuff 
for the Angara, for the Angara to trust us, because, you know, that's, 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 how, that's how life works. And then, um, ooh, the pie check, hello. Still compiling my first impressions. How'd you resist all that tasty fruit on Aya, huh? Check your helmet, helmet before you put it on. I can't this wait rat? for my first he session with John. Okay, but lots of people are talking all at once. Do I care to talk to all these people? No. But you know who I do care to talk to? Our new resident mermaid. So, Jal. So? We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are, you are, aliens. And you're alien to us, so... There. We have something in common. Uh, we can look at it as a place to start. Got it. Perhaps then, if we're all aliens, it's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's... Uh, Exciting. There's something unique about you. Uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Face value? That sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. When we have downtime, I'd love to watch you work. Sure. I could show everyone. Um, no. Just us. So we can get to know each other better, or just share a hobby. Oh. Mm. Of course. Good. Good. Uh, he doesn't get it. Well, then again, um, Job is, uh, interesting. If you want to get with him, basically talk to him whenever you do anything major and, you know, choose the weird icon that isn't a heart, but it's like a friend thing. Basically, he won't, he'll be stinking oblivious until you actually earn his trust, which makes sense. But, uh, yeah, if you're, if you're, if you're into that, then, um, yeah. But for now, that's, that's all it's gonna be. That's, that's all she wrote. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll be going. Well, well I guess we'll talk to everybody. Like, yes, we'll talk to everybody, and then we'll be going to one of the Angara worlds to go and kill Ket and Junk. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for chilling. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.